welcome to the new episode of The A Factor. And in the house today, as usual, my nephew Quincy. Yo, yo. Maniac. Yo, yo. And the great Ovi. Gunshots today. That's a thank Listen you. Listen carefully. You know about that. 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 You Better, better, yeah. better than it's when it. you saw me, picked me up off the street three weeks ago. And, um, but everyone, ain't, everyone ain't seen you, so like, how, how you been? I've been all right, kid. Yeah, mm. I'm just getting on with it, boy. Fight them, fight them, fight them through, man. Fight some Brief questions. introduction. Yeah. Ovi. Yeah, well, obviously, like, everybody here knows me and everything like that. I'm Ovi from Brixton. I've done 25 years in total. In prisons, uh, Long Lartons, exactly. the White Moors, the Franklins. I've done Broadmoor, Ashworth, and Rampton as well. And I met a lot of people on the way, good people, you know. And when I look at my life, it's a reflection of this man here, Quincy, you know. Oh, He's yeah, been like a nice father one. figure to me, <laughs> yeah. you know. That's nice. I met Maniac <laughs> in 2001, and he embraced me in a way, like, from another area, like, the love was just so special. And I ain't felt that sort of love before. I'm trying not to cry, sorry. <laughs> and obviously, yeah, me, yeah, I'm like, yo, that's my partner right there. You get me? So, X, 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 X so whatever was <laughs> going down has to be run through by Yami. You get me? And survival is the is the key. Right. <laughs> yeah, yeah. OV? Yeah. First things first. Yeah. When? Because OV, just for the listeners' purposes and everything, the first subject of the day. Is mental health. Uh, yeah. Ovi has a very, very deep, deep condition. One of the most talked about around the world, yeah. which we know about, schizophrenia. Yeah. Right from the top, Ovi. When did you develop it? Yeah. When was you diagnosed? Yeah, 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 yeah. What was the difference between the ages yeah. when it turned, changed? Okay, blah, okay. Blah. All right, cool. The best way I can explain it, obviously, um, I witnessed my mum being domestically abused from a very, very young age. So I've always had that thought disorder. So whatever I'm doing, even now, I can see my mum crying or bleeding or whatever. So fast forward in, I started like, having weed recreation and stuff like that. And then cocaine, crack cocaine. And I think it was in Ellsbury, 96. Uh, I was 16 years old at the time. And they, they said to me, look, you have to go to hospital. You know, we've referred you to Broadmoor. You've been in and out. When you 16? 16, yeah. Mm. So, yeah. What, sorry, of what was the episode that brought about them saying that you needed to go there? Uh, what was, kind of yeah, stuff yeah, yeah, yeah. went on with the delusions, with mm. the stuff with crack? We know what yeah, kind yeah. of things yeah, yeah, it can yeah, do yeah, to yeah, a person. Yeah, 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 so yeah. obviously what happened to you, yeah. you it went further. Yeah, 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 yeah. it went, went way further. Yeah. I was suffering from mania. I wasn't sleeping. How old? Uh, 16, up mm. onwards. Uh, so I wasn't sleeping. Uh, I was taking steroids and I was training in the gym. Uh, and it was just a madness. So when the psychiatrist came to assess me for the place, he said straight away, I don't even need to talk. You're coming straight down there. He said, we're gonna inject you when you get there and then you'll stay with us and then we'll let you out. So I was yeah, like, 16. okay, 16, yeah. So they've driven me down to Coulsdon from Ellsbury, which is in Buckinghamshire. I've got there straight away, needle, and I've never felt something so painful in my life. Why did they give that to you for? Because they said they wanted to bring me down. I was too high. So, after all of that, oh, it was in Ellsbury. Yeah, 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 yeah. I was. You had, I think, your sentence was finished at that time. Your first sentence. Uh, okay. I remember it to the appeal of court. Okay. And yeah, that's what happened. So I left prison. I went to hospital, and I was a zombie. You know, I couldn't even eat food properly. I had a big roast dinner, and I couldn't chew it. They had to get hot wheat bix and I had to drink it, and you know, so it was bad. And my mum came up one day and she was shouting, oh, oh, I put my arm out the window and I says, mum, they're killing me. And yeah, yeah, I thought I was actually going to die at that time. Wasn't there anybody 
like an argument side for your side of while this was happening wasn't there somebody to say mm. hold on what's going on here we know about Mumsy yeah. which is on the right like me yeah. I resonate with that yeah. Quincy res resonates with that yeah. Maniac resonates because we know that we were lovers as like the majority normally yeah. are yeah. of their mothers of course I mean we can get deeply scarred by the stuff that our mothers go through yeah. witnessing by us definitely so yeah. that as well yeah. so when they did that did they have the authority to put the needle in there? Just uh, like that? They had the authority under the Mental Health Act, 1983, right. which is being revised now. So at that time, false medication could be done. But if you agreed for it, it would be on a T2. So that's con consent to medication. So after the hard ride, I got through everything. Everything was cool. And I went back to Ellsbury and I was fine. The only thing was my face was fat, my belly was fat, and I was taking injections. I was in education with Quincy one day and he went, how come you always disappear and then come back? And I said to him, no, nah, man, I'll just go down there to see the counsellor. He says, no, nah, man, like, you're taking injections, isn't it? And I didn't know what to say after that. Did I say that to you? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Because yeah. <laughs> obviously I'm swollen knew, up. Boy. I'm swollen. I've got a sticker, like a plaster here, where they've jabbed me. Obviously <laughs> they need to put a finger so the medication doesn't leak out with the blood. So, yeah, that's that part of it. So from young offenders to medium secures, and then obviously we're going to progress on to like the... The Long Lartons, the White Moors, the Franklins, and like you know the the Broodmoors, the Ashworths, and all that. So at that first stage in yeah. 1996, yeah, when they did that, yeah, when was the diagnosis official? The diagnosis was official in '98 by a Polish doctor called Peter Pijnik. Uh Very nice guy. <laughs> yeah, yeah, very nice guy. Very very nice guy. But he used to play. <laughs> He used to play it to the, to the wind, didn't it? So I would say, well, I look, like, I've only got a year left on my sentence. Can I go out to the, the local town, Bromley, or, or to Coulston, or to Purley? And he'd be like, yeah, I can twist a few arms in the home office. So when I heard that, I knew this guy had some serious power. So he done that for me. And within a year, I was out. I was actually in Ministry of Sound with <laughs> this man and this man, dancing. <laughs> Like that, you know? So yeah, 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 yeah. Yeah, but he did that for you. He did like that for me. The sentence you was doing in Ellsbury. Yes, yes. Did not. Did stop. it run its course? It ran its course. It so ran what it favor did he do for you in general? No did favor, really. Yeah. Did he get you out of doing extra time? He did. Or did no, he do no, you no. He didn't get me out of doing extra time. But for his CV, like that's ticked off. Like I cured this man. You know, I know this man. I know what medication works and whatever. Did for him, innit? Yeah, 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 yeah. yeah. That's that's yeah. A, that's a body on his. It's a CV. body. It's a body. Yeah, yeah, it's yeah. a body. If you want, yeah. if you want to, even now, if he if he wants to phone somebody from Poland right now and say, all right, cool, give him give him that injection, man. Nobody will know. We see, died of Corona. Then nobody would ever know. But he, he was he's eccentric. Yeah. So therefore, yeah, he runs the show. He's got the power. Yep. And basically, yeah, he can just say, well, the simple solution. Just do that bit. Yeah, that's it. Basically. Yeah. Yeah. yeah so yeah. after that, oh, 96 to 98, yeah. the medication started. Yeah. He came out from Ellsbury. Yeah. He left my nephew. Yeah, yeah. Come out. He was in ministries with Maniac. Yeah. 1998. Yeah. What happened on road during that time? On road, I didn't. I was in 98. I got, I got out in before 2001. Oh, yeah, because that's when the diagnosis yeah, yeah, was. Yeah, 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 yeah. So the yeah. diagnosis was in 98 and it was schizoaffective disorder which is basically schizophrenia, but then you have a rapid change of mood. So sort of like a Jekyll and Hyde sort of thing. Yeah. Yeah. So hold on a minute, just to clear up the schizophrenia thing, yeah. because I studied them. Yeah. used to talk about Freud, your yeah, yeah. Bowlby, kind of thing. What do they mean by schizophrenia number two when they associate it with catonia? Where it's borderline. Um, yeah, yeah, what, yeah. what? Why do they? What is the difference oh. between those? How many different forms of schizophrenia yeah, yeah, yeah. is there? There's two, uh, but then now the, so the one I'm talking like, about yeah. is the second one. Yeah, yeah. So yeah, it's yeah. A li that's a limited edition. Kind it of is a very limited edition. Right. But then we remember now you've got like PD. So there's right. no more DSPD, dangerous severe personality now, which is PD personality disorder. So uh, someone could say to me, "You're narcissistic." You look in the mirror all the time, look, you think you're a pretty boy, look at your hair and all that rubbish, yeah? But then somebody might say, you're schizotypoed. So that means that you're not psych psychologically messed up. You're just so smart that you can manipulate something from anybody, you know? Like the sort of like the Charles Manson sort of effect. Uh, and borderline personality disorder, it doesn't mean you're on the borderline of anything. It means 
you are emotionally unstable. That's what it means. <laughs> and you, you can't be cured. It can only be treated. So they prefer to do it in the community. So you've got CBT, cognitive behavior therapy, mentalization behavior therapy, and DBT, dialectical behavior therapy. So the years I spent with you, yeah. right, Ove, yeah. in jail. Wait, yeah. Wait, wait, wait. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. 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 Oh, yeah. On, the real, yeah. on the real thing. Yeah. The biggest deal, I know. How can it be then? Yeah. Yeah. I used to like going in the mirror, mm. combing my hair, yeah, yeah, yeah. getting ready, yeah. making sure I look the part, yeah, 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 and yeah. all the other things that they associate yeah. with narcissistic stuff. Yeah. How can if you have eight or nine of them, but you have four or five other different bits of blood, yeah, yeah, yeah. they can put you in a bracket of blah, 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 but yeah. I know you as a man who's got sympathy yeah, and empathy, yeah, 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 yeah. knows right yeah, from wrong. Yeah, so yeah, how yeah. would that be then? Because you know, you're yeah. not a psychopath. Yeah, yeah, yeah. No, I don't really think you can go past two or three personality disorders for your dual diagnosis, which means you've got both. So you've got the, like, the mental illness side and you've got the personality side. So there ain't eight, nine, ten. That's all, that's just some malarkey. Oh, I can change into other people. That doesn't happen. All right, so the viewers know. Yeah. When you don't, the difference with medication and when you don't take it, what have you noticed? Uh, if I stop taking meds, which I've done a couple of times in prison. I saw you. Yeah. Uh, it would be this amount that I'll go into myself, but I play loud music over and over again, the same, tr the same song. And uh, I'll be very serious. My facial expression will be very cold. I won't really make eye contact with you. And I could just flip or like a switch. And I think an officer called Mario, like uh, Full Sutton, he got his head split open. This is a crime scene. And I didn't really want to do that. He would just antagonize me. And <laughs> it happened, you know? I had everything. I was a cleaner on the wing. I was playing football with him, uh, Pro Evolution, with him and another one of our so called friends. And yeah, that happened, you know? And what that, that was, yeah, and said so called, yeah, 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 yeah. <laughs> Who was that? Yeah, a little short, little short guy from Ghana, <laughs> but yeah, 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 it's cool, it's cool, it's cool. We'll mention it's that cool, later, it's cool, it's cool, yeah, it's cool. yeah. But I would say that's what not taking medication can be to for anybody. So, your injections that liquid is going to build up in your system. So, if you stop taking it, it takes about a year for it to all come out. What with the tablets, 24 hours, that's it, bruv. You are a liability. For the viewers' purposes, again, yeah. sorry. How is it possible yeah. for a man yeah. with a six-year tariff yeah. for, you know, the sad crime yeah, of yeah, robberies yeah. Yeah, yeah, and yeah. the way that your crimes, I'm not going to dis yeah, yeah, disclose yeah, yeah, your, yeah, yeah. your robberies and that's what cool, you use in cool. yeah, yeah. How does a man do six years, a six-year tariff and end up doing 19 and a half years? I think it's called misunderstood. On my, uh, my sheet, when they sent off to the home office for Cat A with you, they said that I was imprisonment with an option. So I think it's IWO. So um, that means I'm too dangerous to be let out of prison and I'm too dangerous to be let out, out of a high secure hospital. So all I got to do is sit on the CSC or sit in the SEG or sit on the wing, watch everybody else go home, which is a good thing. That's not a bad thing. But then I'm just there. I'm just stagnated, isn't it? When I came away, I didn't, I didn't need to shave. Now I've got like grey hair. Everywhere, I shave my beard. You know, you still but look the same as when I saw you twenty. Try to, ago. try to, try to, bro. Wait, oh, but the, but, but the, hold on, one minute though. Mm. So what about the outside? So professional help. Yeah. You've served the time for the crimes. Yeah. You're on medication. Yep. It's a, a, a diagnosed condition. Yeah. You know that you know you need, you're going to need some kind of support and yeah, help. Yeah, yeah, definitely. Yeah. Who was out there fighting the corner for you? Uh, well, so I'm going to get this, but you'll be better off being treated yeah. in a community yeah, 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 rather yeah. than making you in the cat A's yeah. on and off back to hospital yeah, every yeah. time you have a turn um, or whatever. Mm. What? Tell me how. Uh, I, can't, I yeah, don't get it. Yeah, it's technical, bro, because I had a criminal to the set up for like parole hearings, uh, adjudications, but then you need two. You need one for the mental health side and you won't get legal aid for that. So my granddad was saying to my mum, look, we have to pay the money for him for come out and whatever. Mum was saying, no dad, don't waste the money and whatever. So in reality, I just think they wanted me to be cured to get to this point now. Cause I couldn't, so yeah. Yeah, Oves, yeah? Yeah. How, how is it, yeah, that all the, you see the stuff that you went through, yeah? Yeah. How comes you understand it so much? Uh. That's a very good question, man. Good I've question. not been asked that question. Do you know what I mean, Jax? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Because you see, right. you see, getting through that and getting fucking drugged up and fucking 
broken down and that, yeah? And it's still... Confused. And then you understand that you understand it like the way the doctors understand it. Exactly. Yeah. What the fuck's that about? I think... Um, he said something on the way up and yeah, he was walking. And he said, like, um, from me, he did certain things to his friend. Like, he can remember from when he, his mum was holding him in his arms. Yeah, he told me that. Yeah, yeah, like, yeah, even yeah. that, it's like, they yeah. tapped into some next side yeah, 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 yeah. Um, yeah. of the... Yeah, yeah, of the so brain. Yeah, sorry, yeah. Alvi, explain yeah, the um, yeah. injury to the head for that. Oh, the injury, or oh, basically, um, I was given like three cups of medication, all the same colour, all different, knocked them all back in one, and I projectile vomited on the seclusion wall. So the doctor said to me, Look, you sign this paperwork now for this operation, which is ECT, electrical water therapy slash lobotomy. So um, I've signed it. I said, Will you let me out of seclusion so I can listen to music and all that? He goes, yeah. So anyway, they wheeled me through in the wheelchair, put me on the bed, strapped me to the bed. I had like a straight jacket. So I was like that. Put a needle in my arm. He said, you're going to feel a bit funny now. So I'm just there and I can't move. So they put like jelly here and then the electrodes and I'm being shocked. But when I'm being shocked, I can't breathe. So I'm fighting for breath. Where was this, up? Uh, Broadmoor. So uh, yeah, that happened. And then yeah, I sat down in the chair and I literally met, I feel something cold really cold going across here and then at the back and i passed out and i came back around and i was in a wheelchair like that and all the other patients were looking at me they weren't laughing or nothing but they knew i was messed up and yeah that was, you know, i had this little bracelet on my arm to say yeah that yeah part of your brain's gone uh and yeah 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 i just tapped like the brother said i tapped in to other parts of my brain now and like my mum we're very close, but very far apart. But knowing, seeing your mum when you're first born, I think that's a gift from God, you know? Yes, and I can remember every vivid detail of every situation, wow. good, bad, you know, like, yeah. yeah, yeah. But so I'm gonna say, like I was saying before though, so like after all of that, yeah. how do you, are you still able to be able to yeah, so, yeah, yeah. understand Everything yeah. was happened to you in, yeah, yeah, yeah. in the style that a doctor yeah, yeah, or professor knows. Yeah, yeah. yeah. What did you do? Study it? Yeah. Uh, I read a lot of books, so okay. I didn't read the normal yeah. books. You didn't you know read the, yeah, I didn't read the normal. I read the books. Yeah, the doctor. He's breaking it down, isn't it? Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah, yeah, yeah. 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 No, I think not what the, it is. Not the patient. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, 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 yeah. yeah, what I think it is, I think the books that I read, they weren't all the same. They were mainly crime crime books, crime, psychological crime. So I learned how to understand behaviour. Uh, Sidney Sheldon, great author. He had a character called Constantine Demaris. Oh, yeah. uh, the memoirs oh, of the Midnight, books. and I was at the Midnight. That's what I showed yeah, you about. Yeah, you yeah, showed me that. Yeah, Sidney Sheldon. Sidney Sheldon. You know, he went Elsby. Yeah, that's how I started reading books. And Harold Robbins. Before I didn't like books, I read them. That was it. If Tomorrow Comes, Tracy Whitney, Santa Time. Yeah, yeah. The Doomsday Conspiracy. Robert Robert Bellamy. I read all of them. You know, so your literature. The literature. Are you going to put? Are you going to put a list in the? In the description of this thing. Yeah, 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 yeah. But these books, cause I, I mean, he was reading Machiavelli one time. Uh, it was an old copy. And, <laughs> and, I, and I said to him, what's that, brother? And he said to me, oh, no, nah, no, nah, it's about Machiavelli and that. And I said, what's it about? He said, no, nah, you know, it's just about how he advised the politicians and the parties in Florence, where he was born in Italy. And I didn't read it for a long time, but when I did read it, read it, sorry, I learned that he said something like, do, do you want to be loved or feared or feared or to be loved and i thought to myself hmm i want to be loved but do i want the fear factor as well and i've never even really asked the question but he calls it the prince in it so if i'm in my yard my house obviously paid for like i'm just thinking to myself with what i've gone through i've i've come out and i've hit the ground running yeah. i've caught up to everybody within two years and now I'm not trying to like sorry I'm not trying to compete or anything but this is all for you innit this is me this is who I am the greatest yeah. so what nephew's asking you yeah so about the intelligence levels yeah, 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 yeah. so just because yeah it's schizophrenic by yeah. diagnosis yeah, 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 yeah. just because yeah. you've got some deficiencies yeah. with behaviours yeah in fact yeah I spent loads of time with yeah. you yeah very very intelligent yeah man. yeah thanks man so it doesn't mean no because yeah. of that diagnosis, yeah. that yeah. you can't work stuff out. Do you think, out? Do you think they, wrong, they wrongly diagnose people? Because I think like a lot of things they don't understand, mm. and I think because they don't understand it, they just put it in categories. Now what yeah, 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 yeah. What, yeah. What I would say <laughs> yeah. is that, all right, cool. One, two, three, four. Just imagine there's four, four people doing me. 
all of these people hear voices, mm-hmm. yeah? Mm-hmm. All of these people have seen the devil, yeah? And we're all hearing at the same time. So if, say, Q's the doctor, he has to say all of these are schizophrenics. That's him, he's only 80 grand for the month. Yeah. But then if Joe Bloggs over there, he's got some different diagnosis, then, okay, Ovi, you've got the same symptoms as him. Now you're borderline or you're bipolar. So then it switches again. Mm-hmm. So they can flip throw it at you however they want. And then at the end of the day, if you're not educated, then you will just, you'll end up just dying a lonely person with information that should have been shared, mm-hmm. you know? And there's too much of, you know, these, these like incidences where no one knows or no one cares. You know, yeah, yeah. If I was in the back garden, somebody has to make a decision. Yeah, I could be walking down Clapham High Street with my music on. Drake, I like Drake and Travis Scott. So, (laughs) obviously, who could it be? Be, be. Yeah, yeah. (laughs) So, if I'm seeing that on down the road, and someone says, "Oh, that guy's a bit mad," he's shouting. My kids are scared. Please come. And I say, "What's wrong with you?" I say, "Nothing, man. Leave me alone." That's enough for me to be taken to a hospital, A and E, assessed, uh, given medication falling asleep, and then a year later, I'm on a section. And if I do anything violent, then my life sentence is reactivated, and then it's just a mazza. So that's how easy it is. So, oh, then the times that we, we were together. Yeah. Now, I've got to say, I don't, I hope you don't mind me saying I don't mind. That I witnessed you setting fire to yourself. Yeah. Right, so I also witnessed that they weren't giving you no help and support. Yeah. In fact, yeah. they were bringing them more about yeah, 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 your yeah. darkest, yeah, 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 you yeah. know, with how extreme it can really yeah, be. Yeah. You know, for someone for me to witness, especially as my friend, yeah. you know, to set fire to themselves, yeah, yeah, yeah. serious issues, yeah, 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 cry yeah. for help, yeah. because why they're not doing nothing. Yeah, why did you do that? So why you did you do that? Uh, I think there was something wrong with me with that, because I remember when I used to light the fire, I used to look at the flames. Uh, the smoke was coming in, the windows were closed. And I I seriously cannot answer why I did it at that time. But now, like, yeah, he's a cry for help. I'm saying to them, look, I can't handle this. I've got 19 years, man. What more do you want of me? I've got chaplains, I've got imams, sheikhs coming to my Not door. Really They're opening my flap, yeah? And I'm saying to them, look, you can see me, can't you? They're like, yeah. I said, look at the window. I said, look, there's four or five bars in the window. Can you imagine what you're actually looking at? Can't you see how serious this is? This is not a joke. So, you know, it never worked for me with the help inside of things. People did take me under the window, officers, females, males that were like, they were like like a granddad figure or a mother figure or, or auntie figure. But that's as far as it went. At the end of the day, they were going home. If I was in my cell and I said, I'm, I was crying, I was saying, I don't leave me. They're like, we'll see you tomorrow. And that's it. So it's superficial at the end of the day. And sorry, one other thing that I can say, obviously I've read all like the religious books, but then I've read a lot of Greek mythology as well. And and a lot of the things that come out of that, like uh, the narcissism and all that, that was actually a, a tale about a young boy who was very handsome and a long story short. He but, looks in the swimming pool, yeah, 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 sees yeah, his own reflection yeah, and, and blah, blah, blah. I've got doubts about yeah, this yeah, narcissism yeah. thing. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Everybody's got little traits. Little of, traits of that it, yeah. you can say, well, that's part of narcissism. Yeah, 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 I don't, yeah. Personally, yeah. I think it's an absolute yeah, load of yeah, fucking yeah, yeah, bollocks. Yeah, yeah. It's bullshit. I'll tell bullshit. you, every time they mention it, yeah, I can find yeah, five yeah, things that makes me one. But then I find six other things that makes me not it. Yeah, yeah. But so then, they throw it around like it's, yeah. it's just that kind, yeah, that kind yeah, of thing. It's like a general thing, but then one other thing from that little side, so we can disclose on this subject, I think <laughs> the Oedipus complex is the more serious one. Before That's what the up. name of yeah, the narcissism. Yeah, That's yeah, where yeah, the swimming pool yeah, yeah, is yeah, reflection. Yeah, yeah, no, because because it's he, Greek kind of thing yes. with blah, blah, blah. He loved himself, didn't yeah, he? Yeah, 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 yeah. And he killed his father by mistake. Yeah, and right. Obviously, yeah, he became yeah. king and yeah, whatever. But yeah. Yeah. yeah, yeah. So in terms of knowledge and understanding... What was it about, sorry? The Oedipus complex. They draw the complex. It starts from... All right, I'll break down yeah, yeah, yeah. what his narcissism yeah. because it comes from the old yeah, yeah, yeah. of how it was. Yeah. Why do they break down yeah. that his behaviour? Yeah, was is, is resonates yeah. with narcissism. Okay, I can do that. All right, cool. So Oedipus was uh, a boy. He figured out the riddle of the Sphinx in Egypt. His father ran over his foot on the chariot one day, and he threw a spear, killed his father. So he went to the the kingdom. And he married his mother, but didn't know he was his mother. So Freud had the idea that all young boys fancied their mums when they were adolescents. Yeah. So there's a little bit of truth in it, but obviously that's a Freudarian side. Yeah. But then, remember that happened in Egypt. Uh, 
the narcissist happened in Greece. So they're so close together. You look at Gianni Versace, you know the zigzag signs? Yeah. Yeah? That's Roman and Greek. Yeah. The Medusa was a beautiful princess. Uh, yes. And she slept with Poseidon, the the, the god of the oh, seas. Excellent. So obviously yeah. Athena. Yeah. Athena. For a curse on her. So I did all this stuff. Yeah, yeah. So yeah, yeah. So yeah. if you look at Gianni Versace, yeah. he yeah. got all of his ideas from like Greek mythology and uh, you know like um, Julius Caesar yeah. and Cleopatra. Yeah. So that Medusa, you're meant to look at that and freeze. But then in reality, you look at the Medusa. Yeah, right, like that, that, that's sick. Yeah, yeah, and that's it. Yeah, that's it. Yeah. Oh, so the first experience we talked yeah. about Broadmoor, yeah. Ashworth, and Rampton, and Rampton. Yeah, which was the first one you went in. I went to Broadmoor first. Right, that was the first one. I've been there four times altogether on the prison transfer. Right, during that nineteen years. Yeah, 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 yeah. Right. yeah. When you went there, yeah, the difference between prison, yeah. and that hospital, yeah first thing okay okay when i went through the gates uh obviously i was in cuffs and the acat suit seeing our vans were behind right i think i thought this looks like a hotel uh, oh, see, I'm yeah. sorry sorry oh yeah tell me about the van journey the van the journey different vans, yeah. you know like how yeah, it feels yeah, when you're on your way there what what you know like uh, uh, it's a good question you know i think it's nerve-wracking because you've got sirens you got a CNR van, wow. you got a nurse in there with you. You're wow. thinking, how long is it going to take to get there? I said to them, how far are we away? They said an hour. Uh, five minutes later, we were there. So I think in reality, I was so nervous. I wish I hadn't done what I did for me to go there for the first time. No, hey. Yeah. Sorry to interrupt. Yeah, it's going on, Keith. I swear to God, this is a first on any podcast. I swear to God. No. No, you don't know what I'm talking about. Yeah, yeah. I know what you're going to say. Well, you know what's really <laughs> well, I'm not going to say it. I'm not going to say it, but I think I know what you're going to say. I just want to you don't. All right, yeah. go ahead. I'm wrong. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> it's funny, though. It's funny. Go on, go on, tell me. Uh, I turned to my left. This is the first of any podcast in the world I can tell you that now. I said, don't you speak? The man said, no. <laughs> <laughs> oh, uh, cute. Right you know, about two minutes ago, I was going to say <laughs> something about choice <laughs> maniac. <laughs> but don't you speak, man. Said that's his style, though. That's his style. <laughs> yeah, yeah, Anyone yeah, that knows yeah. maniac, yeah. knows. Yeah, yeah, yeah. That's his style. Yeah. Yeah. Why are you saying yeah, yeah, the podcast? Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. <laughs> yeah. yeah. Podcast is for conversation. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I think still. he might be over. Yeah. He might be a bit over. Yeah. 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 I'll ask him now. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Maniac, have you heard anything like this before? That was the greatest. It's beautiful. It's beautiful. Yeah, thank you, bro. I'm learning so much about trials and tribulations. Yeah, yeah. Not just you, but the people that's also in the world of that yeah. diaspora of going yeah. through sort of medical and mental trauma of life and then how it's serendipitously put together mm. in the one dimension of trying to be in a parallel universe of having a life and then a life that is meant that is meant to be better for every generation to go yeah, along yeah, yeah. to put together and you're beautifully you put together. Like thank you, yeah. Try not you. To talk. That's so special, man. You know, it's his first time. Yeah. Are you overwhelmed? Yeah, yeah. Ah! No, I mean, when I say yeah, overwhelmed, I meant by the mental health, by yeah, the, the oh, subject. The it's beautiful, I'm just learning. Yeah. yeah so I you didn't like know about all this, man, yeah. I've read 6,000 books over 10 years behind right. bars. And so this is... A, this is the horse's life. mouth. I just went through prison. It was... We did it, me and Tipsy did it. How did you do it mentally, though? How did you do prison mentally? Well, it was me and Tipsy. It was all right. It was two of us. How old did you when you went in? Uh, was it 21 to 31? 21 to 31. Oh, okay, okay. Yeah, so we, I just read books, so I just stacked them up in the cell to the ceiling yeah. and just read. So this is my yeah. father, this is my university, yeah. Yeah. this is my teacher, this is my wisdom, this is my home, this is my monastery, yeah. and I'm going to come out of this beautiful. Yeah. 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 Because yeah. I have time on my side. Yeah. Yeah. I'm young, yeah. so time yeah. is on my side. Yeah. Was yeah. it vegan before that? No, as soon as I came in, I was no, vegan within a couple of weeks. Yeah, yeah. 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 We, that's right there. Yo, I can see your... your, your your deep, deep thinker. Yeah. I think they say. I so they, they, why did they call you maniac? Yeah. Um, because of the stuff that was done over once my upon lifetime. Time. Once upon yeah. a time. Yeah. Mm. Not because no, you're, you're mad. No, absolutely same. I can <laughs> to, to <laughs> ten, you know. We're you like people calling you that these days? I say it doesn't matter. I yeah, don't mind. Yeah. Yeah. yeah, but you're far from a maniac, though. Nothing. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, yeah I think. <laughs> it's like when they talk about me, I think it was that. Yeah. yeah. Oh, is that what it was since then? Yeah. Wait, <laughs> oh, but sorry, sorry to interrupt. Yeah. Ovi, sorry, yeah, sorry, yeah, sorry. Yeah, bro. Please, so. Please. First, yeah, yeah, cool. the description of Broadmoor. Who's not Broadmoor? Right, right, like I said, the van, there's straight there. Mm. What did you see, bro? Going through the gates is similar to any high secure prison. Yeah. 
uh, and then getting in there, there's a crazy golf course. Like, you can see people play, playing golf. You know, you're thinking, right, oh, is this what it is for me right now? Uh, and you go in, they strip search you, they say, look, you're going to behave or not? And I say, yeah, I'm going to behave. Might have a little bit of burn, a little bit of weed <laughs> put away. But there's people in there that have been smoked for 15 years because they stopped smoking in mm. hospitals. So one roll up is worth 100 quid. So, yeah, yeah, take that, take that. I got all of that money coming in from canteen, go to the shop, which is like a little Sainsbury's. Yeah, but oh, sorry, mm. boy. Yeah. What was you feeling like I, uh, when you walked through that door yeah. from prison, high security estate? Yeah, yeah, yeah. You walked through reception. Yeah. Different thing now. Yeah. You know, not a children's arm, yeah, yeah, not yeah. an approved school, yeah. not Borstal training, yeah. not the cat A's, yeah. but somewhere with some of the biggest names and yeah, yeah, yeah. mental cases or okay. whatever of, okay, okay. of some of the most horrendous crimes yeah, 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 yeah. all to do with mental health yeah. apparently. Yeah. You walk through the door, was it daunting? What did you expect? Yeah, yeah, yeah. It was, it was. Walking Broadmoor, yeah, right. Quincy. Yeah, yeah, yeah. No, no, Broadmoor, it was, it was Peter cool. Sutcliffe. Yeah, yeah, no, I wouldn't be surprised if Ovi's met him. Yeah, yeah. Well, I did meet him. I met him. I mean, I've had Christmas dinner with him before. You know, I was telling you and the big man here earlier that remember he's blinding one eye, someone dug his eye out and it. I was calculating the dates. Yeah, but yeah. then. Explain that story. Yeah, 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 I think like everybody's called Wuku Sana, so they call it the celebrity world because yeah. everybody on there, like uh, Napa, Robert Napa's on there, Sutcliffe, Peter Bryan, all of these people. Oh my God, he had a All the most dangerous me. people, yeah. yeah. Guy called Dante Plant as well. But then. He, we was all eating dinner, and the guy just come behind me, put him in a lock, and just dug his eye out and ate it. And the, the pus from the eyeball sprayed out onto a nurse. Uh, they obviously took him to hospital. He sued the hospital for, I think, £70,000. And he came back. But the thing that scared me was, like, I looked into his eyes, and I looked into a lot of killers' eyes. and He's Sutcliffe. Sutcliffe, but you can't tell which one is blind, which one's a glass eye, because there's just no life there. Um, he gets like uh, a truckload of fan mail. Uh, I've been on a visit with my mum and my dad before, stepdad. And my mum goes, is that Peter there? And he's got like all these young women sitting on his lap, sitting on chairs, giggling. And he's, oh, yeah, 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 yeah. The on guy, a visit. On a visit, yeah. Yeah, 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 yeah. Playing Monopoly and Connect Four and all that. Yeah. So, yeah, 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 yeah. So, it, it's scary. I was scared going in and I was terrified coming out. That's my only answer. Why was he terrified coming out? Because coming out, remember, you're, I'm an institution, like, after 90 years, I'm not an institution, like, but I can't cope outside. Every room for me is a cell. It's a square. One, two, three, four. I mean, a square. So, for me personally, I can open my, my, the room, my room door, and I can go outside whenever I want. And I can have my girlfriend back there, or I can have my friends back there. But then, if the door was locked and it can only be open from the outside, for me, it's just a glorified prison cell. For me personally, I don't, people, a lot of people won't understand that, but for me, that makes sense. And I'm all right with that. I can cope outside and I can do it real good with the support of my family, friends, people that know me, the professionals that now respect me for telling the truth. And yeah, that's it, man. I mean, I said, it's a beautiful thing. Yeah, but oh, if you see, see in Broadmoor. Yeah. So Sutcliffe. Peter Bryan. Bryan. Peter Bryan. We're talking Napa. Napa. Right, he was the one uh, with the, Napa was the one that done he, that. Yeah, and yeah, 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 yeah. And and the DNA came back, it went yeah. somewhere else, and yeah, then they realised yeah, later yeah. on that there was another one yes, that yes, to yes. him too. But also Erskine was there as well. Kenny Erskine he's dead. Peter Sutcliffe yeah. and Erskine are both dead now. Both dead now. Uh, yeah. and I think the other cannibal guy, Peter uh, Bryan, they yeah. built a, like a house yeah. in Rampton. No, sorry, not Rampton, Ashworth for him. So there's only him on there. And I told you the story earlier, all of his teeth are metal, white metal, and these two are, are sharpened up. And he always used to say to me, oh, yeah, you wrote me a letter, innit? So I'm like, yeah, yeah, I wrote you a letter. And I said, I said that's out inside, because I didn't want to have to do this guy, and I didn't know if I could, to be honest. He's, he's just like a giant, basically. So he just always used to send messages, tell him to write to me, I want him to write to me. And I never did. I never did write to him. No. Uh, the, it just yeah. sounded good at the time. It sounded good at the time. <laughs> yeah. Like that answers your question, bro, on to how I felt yeah. going in. And while I was there, like I said, I got used to the place. What was he known for? Hmm? What was that guy known for? Who? Uh, Peter Bryan. Yeah. Uh, he. Um, it's a cannibal. Yeah, he killed somebody, okay. uh, smashed their skull in, and fried their brains with garlic. When the, yeah, when the police came, 
They said, why do you do this? He goes, I ah, I just wanted some McDonald's. Uh, yeah, and he said, what was it like? He said, it was nice. So by way of restraint of, yeah. with the clientele yeah. in Broadmoor, yeah. really serious cases, yeah. really, really horrendous uh, things, obviously that reached the front pages yeah. of all newspapers, yeah. you know. What are they? What are they doing when people have funny terms? Uh, when people have funny terms, like I said to you, they've got a, a problematic uh, management violence team. So they press a button. Is like, there paedophiles there? Sorry, Elvis. Oh yeah, there must yeah, be. There's, there's, yeah, there's a lot. Oh, 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 no, don't no. mean to go into that one now. No, no, no. Sorry, okay, sorry, okay, sorry, yeah. Sorry, sorry, so ahead. basically, they press that button, which no one can see, and they're there like that. So you've got like eighteen built like rugby players coming in for you. Now, most of the people I've seen get wrapped up have been wrapped up, but they put a fire up, been injected, a few seconds later they're sleeping, wake up, they open the seclusion door up, which is like a sex cell, and you're back out into normal population. I've only had like one... No, like nothing happened? Like nothing happened, no. You probably won't even remember most of it. I mean, I had a cup of liquid, two cups, is red. And I told Quincy this the other day. I was in my room, sleeping, nice sleep. Open my eyes, yeah, sunshine. Cool, close my eyes, it was dark open them it was, it was light I slept for 8 days so every time I blinked it was 24 hours in a day so yeah that's how grimy it can get <laughs> you're, you're getting these injections that sleep there yeah. changing reality yeah changing you bro maybe you haven't eaten you haven't drank yeah you, you said know? the whole cup of you was skinny yeah it was skinny yeah yeah, yeah, yeah. you my said ribs, the whole cup my, was skinny my ribs were Eight showing days sleeping yeah 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 my ribs the were drugs. showing yeah yeah, the, the yeah, sleeping yeah. for eight days. Well, remember, they were slim when they woke up. It's mad. Might have to try that. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, 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 yeah. But yeah, so yeah, 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 yeah. just know this. This is advice for anybody out there that I'd advise you not to go to anywhere like that because whenever you are strained by this team, you, you will be followed by an injection. And it well, will like, hurt. do anything to make you go down that place. Yeah, yeah. Well, what do you mean uh, to avoid going there? You yeah, mean? Yeah, yeah, yeah. I would just say, be yourselves, man. Be yourselves. There's a big world out here. Yeah, there's London's a big place, and there's ways to make money. There's ways to influence people in a good way. Right, of the kind of dependent on the condition. Yeah. In Broadway. Yeah. Is dependent on what injections you get because yeah, not yeah, everybody yeah. gets the same injection no no some people are not on any medication so the reason why I brought up the paedophiles because I just had a thought in my mind and the so, thing, so they get all different kind of things tell us how that medication works mm. for what does it really mean apart from your knocking clock. you yeah, out yeah, yeah, yeah. so that you can't really be a force to be reckoned yeah, 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 yeah. so you can't fight back what kind of other uh, medications do certain catastrophation and that kind of stuff but <laughs> yeah. at the end of the day I'd like you to break that down so the viewers okay, know okay, okay, about exactly okay. Uh, like what I said about my mains I'm on tranquilizers it's called clozapine right, uh, a tablet form yeah. uh, very strong uh, it can break your white blood cells down so if you have a blood test every month if it's red or amber they have to stop it because if I get an infection a cold whatever I can die so that's one thing. Oh, then, that. yeah, 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 yeah. But then for somebody of a nasty offence like paedophilia, rape, yeah. whatever, they've got a drug called antidefeedals. So oh, it's chemical is. castration. Right. So you cannot get sexually aroused right. at the end of the day. So that's what they give to them. So you would say yourself as yummy burglar, robber, you know, crime, like you know, the man them how we do the, the sorry do our thing. Like they've got categories. Of medication for that so if you open up a cabinet they'll have gunmen robbers uh, <laughs> pedophile not and then that's it you got that so hold on oh, yeah. Yeah. just for a quick one the key. there's there's yeah. ladies there as well there's more there's 10 women to every man there and you socialize yeah yeah of course yeah so oh, i can yeah, remember. No, no, no. No, remember. Me me and Charles Bronson. Yeah. They had a disco they had a disco one night. You remember? Uh, oh, there, oh, the you remember? And I knew the dates yeah, collided. Yeah, yeah, yeah. It was me, Charles Bronson, there. Don't let you like, No, no, I won't. But this time he ended up yeah, yeah, he ended up uh copping off with a blackbird. Yes he did, bro. So you know, um, when I saw that, I thought, okay, okay, cool. But, you know, but I, I ate well. You know, there was burgers and uh, uh, cabbage, cooked in butter and garlic. So, 
Yeah, I enjoyed myself, bro. At the Christmas party? Yeah, yeah, yeah. I played football there. Yeah, this got you. Yeah, yeah, this got yeah, yeah. But I think I was the top goal scorer there and I won the table tennis and pool competition as well. With the women dancing as well? Yeah, they yeah, all bubbling, man. Dancing with the women? Yeah, yeah, come on, come on, bro, man. Yeah. <laughs> no, 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 because no, I used to sing, fun. innit? It was a karaoke, so I used to sing Girls Aloud all the time, innit? Did girls you know that? Yeah, yeah. Used to be like, I can't yeah, I like Lily Allen, used to like Girls Aloud. Yeah, 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 yeah. So I love that. Can't speak French. I can't speak French. I can't let the punky music do the talking. Yeah, yeah, I loved all that, bro. So, you know, they had a... It's a real Yeah, they had a warehouse down the road from Bournemouth in Bracknell and it done all like Prada, Gucci and Armani. So all of the prices were like, everything you can get there is at like 100 quid. All genuine stuff, they put it brands wear. So you just fill out your, your rec form, which is the same as a check, and then the money goes direct there, and then two days later, your stuff's there. So I was walking around, Prada up, I had a six pack, you know, on crate, purple, purple capsules, you know. Uh, and in that gym, it's a two million pound gym. They got a swimming pool there. They got all the machines. The machines talk to you like, "Yep, are you ready to go? Come on, <laughs> come on!" I'm swimming. I've got my Akamata watch on. Uh, I'm not, I've got my goggles, and I'm looking at it under the water, like, doing the chronograph on it. You know, so yeah. Oh. In that sense of the word, bro. So what can I say? Either, like, what yeah. can I say? So then, yeah. The diagnosis yeah. of the schizophrenia yeah. in a prison environment. Yeah. No help. No. So you, yeah. like institutionalized like me. Yeah, yeah. Like Quincy was. Yeah. Broke the monopoly. I still am. Uh, I don't think Jay is. Yeah. But you know what though? No. We're all different grades. We're all different grades. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah, yeah, yeah. Excellent. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Excellent. We're all of a different, different ilk. Grade. There's a different ilk in of all what, of us. Of what can happen to you? Yeah, 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 yeah. Or what, so happen, then, or what happens? Yeah, yeah, yeah. So then nephew, so then the manipulation. Well, you can't really play go, go a bit into his story just for yeah, yeah, yeah. and break it up. Oh, yeah, so, yeah. yeah, just so it's not, it's just so it's that we don't have to just go straight to him at the end. Oh, okay. I want to go between him and Obi, if you don't mind. You know? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Because yeah, okay. yeah, yeah. like, even just a bit about your your whole up, 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 coming up and how you even ended up in jail and how you met. Do you know? Because you know what's beautiful to me, the fact that the four of you are sitting here yeah, and the four of you had experiences in the past, but now you're just sitting here talking about it. Yeah, you know what I mean? Yeah. Breaking it down, you know what I mean, in a different environment. So it must be, it's it's, a, it's quite special, isn't it? You know what I mean? Because it's like years later, the fact that you're sitting down. He always says that, I know. Yeah, 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 yeah. So yeah, that will just give me a bit of your, even how you know Q and, you know what I mean, OV before you got to jail. And... I met Q when we was children. He was about 13 years old. Yeah. And we met on a bus called the 133. Okay. And we was in a children's home together. <laughs> When we was 12, up in Mitchell. Okay, he goes that far back, so you wouldn't have even known. Yeah, so I've known him since a child. And um, that was the beginning of a journey, that, mm-hmm. as you can see today. How was that like when you met each other? It was beautiful. Yeah. <laughs> it was a journey. Did you not get on straight away? favourite word. And it was, he had a lovely brown jacket on. And yeah. It was on the bus, and he got off at Brixton, and I got off at, at Fast World. Yeah. And the journey continues today where we've been together 30 years now, not had one argument. Yeah, serious. Yeah, that's, that's yeah, big, that's, yeah, big, that's big, man. That's big, really, really big, bro. When you said that's really, really big, yeah, man. Did, was you in the same children's home, yeah? As well? huh? Was you yeah. in the same children's home? Yeah. Yeah, and then obviously... After that, but after you met on the bus? Oh, no, we were separated, I think, after a little while after that. Okay. And then um, we uh, got together later on down the line. 99. 99? What, no? Yeah, two girls. 1997, wasn't it? Yeah, maybe 97. 97, yeah. isn't it? Yeah, 97. Yeah, 97 and then 2000. How'd you link up in 97? Huh? How'd you link up in 97? I didn't finish. Alright, go on. I saw as if exit was going out of my cousin, innit? Yeah. Karina. Mm-hmm. Yes, Going through exit, that's enough. Mm-hmm. Family, look, I think. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Family party, son. Huh? Family, family event or what, just linking up your cousin? No, nah, my, my cousin's hostel. Yeah, okay. Yeah. 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 Mm. And then again in 2000, was it 2000 or 2001? 2000 to, two, to 2000 to 2001. Yeah, yeah. You want to tell that story or? Uh, it's up to you. Yeah, 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 man, tell the story, brother. Yeah, yeah, you tell the story, story brother. <laughs> you tell the story. It's alright. It's alright, man. Yeah, so we met, <laughs> we met up again. It was, um, it was a beautiful experience. <laughs> and um, yeah, we had. Uh, you, you tell the story. He's telling the story. <laughs> yeah. No, it's just. It's, when I came out of prison, yeah, I looked tipsy in it, and okay. this is who we was together, innit? Me and uh, so did he meet you before tipsy? 
So yeah, like, I met him before I met him. Tipsy. Okay, so and then you yeah. know, Tipsy, you and Tipsy. He's from Peckham. Okay, I didn't even know that. Yeah, yeah. okay. <laughs> so, yeah. so you and you and Tipsy was already uh, you Tipsy was friends that you didn't know that you didn't know that both of you knew Q. You know yeah, we, we, when I first knew him, I don't know Tipsy. Yeah, that's what I mean. Yeah, 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 yeah. 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 And you met Tipsy in your own way. Like you didn't meet through each other. Yeah, him and Tipsy are in the same gang. Okay. My PB Peckham twenty eight. Yes. Okay. Now, see, yeah. please help me. Yeah. 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 So, what was it like between the YPB and the twenty eight sometimes? It was beautiful. It's always been beautiful. As you said, thirty years, no yeah. one argument. Yeah, yeah. 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 No, we never had no problem. Yeah. No. No. When did it change? We're carnival together. We went, we did all sorts was of. Was that years? When did it change? When we went to jail? We yeah, yeah, we went to jail, and all the <laughs> kids have started doing stuff with like mm. no sort of morals or hierarchy yeah, or yeah, yeah, no yeah, sort yeah. of groundwork or connections. So they yeah. do it in a way where there's no sort of structure. business or structure. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. yeah it's just self. Yeah. Self. Yeah, yeah. 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 So it's gonna dissipate. It doesn't last. Yeah, they're blowing the wind. This is. You know, we built from a generation before phones with a generation of friendship and yeah, there yeah. was no TV or anything that had anything to do with divide. Yeah. It was all about friendship. You, what your soul was when you was born with, you could be that. Yeah, yeah, yeah. It was beautiful. You didn't. Well, you wasn't taught treachery, you wasn't taught deception. Yeah. Yeah, I think we really linked up like 97 though, innit? Yeah, 97, yeah. What, yeah. Made you, what made you like, you know, like, your, your bond stronger? <laughs> your name, like that. What? Yeah. What made your bond stronger when you think back? Obviously, you was cool. Like ninety seven. Yeah, I feel like ninety seven. You, you was that when you got. No, ninety seven. We were starting to do stuff together, make money and that together, yeah, yeah. moves and that. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And then exits XR two. Mm-hmm. We used to go on news and that, and then obviously we went jail. And when I came out of jail, Tipsy was getting at my sister. Okay. And obviously he's with Tipsy in it, so. Yeah. yeah, yeah. And still it was just, just fit like yeah, fit like him, right, right, like him, yeah. yeah. <laughs> so deep, so deep, man. It's so, yeah, so deep. And then he was around as well, wasn't he? Yeah, yeah, yeah. He popped up as well yeah, on his yeah, journey. Yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. He come and got the big shoulder. Yeah, right? yeah. big shoulder. <laughs> yeah, 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 yeah. No, no, I think, I think what I said to Quincy, we was in a club called Emporium. Yeah. Off Regent Street. Obviously, main, main neck was there. Mm-hmm. Tipsy, UST, Soul in Peace. And... I'm saying, bro, like, not we got like a whole VIP area for us, like <laughs> champagne bottles everywhere, yeah. And everyone's wearing proud and Gucci in this. I'm like, Quince, like, uh, everything you said has come through, isn't it? He looked at me and went, No, nah, it hasn't. It's to come. <laughs> <laughs> uh, yeah, I'm like, all right, cool, cool, cool. I say nothing, <laughs> uh, yeah, yeah. And everyone went. You always say to me, behave yourself tonight. I don't want to see no madness. I said, I'll, be, I'll be on my best behaviour and I never let him down in the club. No, you didn't. And I yeah. think he, we yeah. could all feel energy from other people, yeah. but I don't think it was really negative energy or hateful. Just I think it fair. was the fact that it was a fear factor. Everyone's strapped and the champagne on like on like in the crates is just a competition, mm. you know? <laughs> and that's what it was. And yeah, like... Like, I mean, that says, and Quincy, and I mean, we're here to tell the tale. Mm-hmm. You know? <laughs> and at the end of the day, some of the people that were there in them clubs right now, they can't go anywhere. They can't go to Brixton. They can't, they can make videos or drill, or whatever. Uh, I'm the king of the hills and all that, but you don't see nobody like that, mm-hmm. you know? So, on my ones, I go to Brixton nearly every day, innit? And it's a beautiful place. I like it. <laughs> you know, wind must clear the rich. See, I take pictures with people all the time. But I would just say, that walk it like you talk it in it. Mm. Just walk it like you, and if you can't do that, just fall back, relax mm. yourself in it. Mm-hmm. Just relax, bro. <laughs> that's what I would say. Mm. Yeah, 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 yeah. Yeah, but oh, that's, that's what oh. I would say. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. I just had a flashback there. Okay. I was just thinking about uh, the day you knocked me out. Oh, okay, <laughs> okay. Yeah. I knew this was coming. <laughs> <laughs> I knew this was coming. Yeah, really. yeah, yeah. Who told him the story? Who yeah, told yeah, him what yeah, story? Remy, Remy, you told him it was Remy on the last one. one. You told him the story about the person here. So yeah, yeah, yeah. No, no, I never. Yeah, you did. Yeah. You did. All right, no, no, I told him to just wrap no, it up. Quick. I, took, I spoke about the fight on the yard with no. the big geezer where I owed him the money. And then I got wobbled. And then yeah, everybody was fighting. Well. It's all right. I never mentioned. Well. No one yeah, ever knows yeah, that. Yeah, yeah, no, yeah. 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 All of it to know. No, no, it doesn't matter. Oh, you're it doesn't talking matter. about when I got dizzy that day no. on the yard where no, I had to take a standing count. You lifted him up. You lifted oh, the guy up. Jointy. Jointy. And he 
Is that, am I wrong? Yeah, yeah, no, no, you're correct. You put the guy in the headlock, exactly, yeah, yeah, you're correct. That's why he's looking at you like, oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> no, did you see his face? Rewind Wait, the yeah. camera, did you see his face? <laughs> <laughs> oh, you know, yeah, so, yeah. I saw your face. Wait, all right then, all right. <laughs> yeah. 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 No, but it's not wrong, because he's here now. Would, yeah, but that's good. Again. So they know so, that yeah, it was him. Yeah, tell it again, tell it again. So, so, Jay, yeah, that again, someone turns up, was there. What happened? No, me and Ovi were the real Because it was the hitman one that you told me. It's another hit, it's a hit, but Ovi was a regular tag team with me. Okay. Or, you know why I say I was a comedian hit Yeah, come on. Right, so that Sunday morning, I just look at him just now. So we, a bit of work's come up, where it was in that like, a uh, couple of, I think it weren't even worth a, a, a thing like, the, they're gonna give you 20, 30, 40 quid to kill somebody. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> and, like, like, basically, I weren't really playing, I weren't really on that. Basically, so <laughs> listen to me, listen to this one. I don't think you ever knew how it actually went. So he was, my, my brother, Ovi, was always to kill somebody. It's fucked up in there, no, they do. That's how they do it, man, in there. So, play, 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 Jay, Quincy is D. I just said to him, Ovi, Ovi always up for it, up for it, both hungry, starving. Yeah. Sunday morning, we've yeah. gone upstairs, up in the room. And instead, we're Ovi's the bigger guy, and you know, with, with whatever, I, I should have got Ovi to do the lifting of the geezer like, you know, sadly, Jonesy. Yeah. But he thought he was a muscle man. So I, I just basically, I done, he was a muscle I man. did this bit, I lifted him up like that, and I said to him, Fancy him there, there. I said to him, hit him. When I lift him up, hit him. And then I just lay him down. That's enough for a Bobby Moore score. I <laughs> so, so then when I was back on the top of the thing, I went like that. I mean, I went like that. I lifted him <laughs> up. I lifted up. <laughs> I lifted up uh, Paul Jonesy, yeah. and I lifted him up, but just for a split second, I let him back down, and Obi went bang. So I'm sitting on the floor, I'm looking up at him. I said, Obi, why, man? Tell me why. He said, yeah, no, 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 you moved it, you moved it. Yeah, so we had to get back up. We were doing a couple of shuffles on the floor. We weren't really fully committed. Yeah. We, me and Ovi knew what it was. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And, um, mm, uh, no, Grego, but, yeah. from Manchester. Manchester game. Came yeah, running yeah. in because the whole, yeah, yeah, yeah. the arena was like, wanted to get some of the limelight. Yeah, yeah. But, no, Grego, proper stuff. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. Hard, hard body, hard body. He come in and he said, yeah, me, no, 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 it's my mate. Yeah, yeah. So we was doing that. Like tapping, we didn't really want, but then yeah. we thought, all right, it's Gregor. Yeah, yeah, yeah. We left it yeah. and boom, boom, boom. Well, so we got by the paid. Time, yeah, by the time so we, we left that room, for whatever it was. Yeah, <laughs> but um, those the the knockout that that was. Yeah, yeah, the yeah. Funny Lauren, yeah. Lauren, yeah. No, Lauren yeah, Hardy moment that, sums well. it all up really yeah. for yeah. prison and the Cates really. <laughs> You know, in, in certain <laughs> respects, yeah, yeah, yeah. you could think of yourself whatever way you want to think yeah, about it. Yeah, but really, yeah, 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 yeah. Most, most of us are a bunch, we're a bunch of comedians, yeah, yeah, trumped, yeah, up, yeah, trumped yeah. up gangsters, yeah. or yeah. trying to. Oh, yeah. Yeah. What? Talk about that, though, please. That what? man wanted to kill people for 30, 40 quid. It's the truth. All right, I'm it's the truth. It's the truth. It's true. They'll pay him until he makes you fucking do it. You know what I mean? Come on, come on, come on. Yeah, I'll do it. Oi, you say. Yeah, 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 I'm ready for that, man. I'm ready for that. Oh, you keep it. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, one thing. Yeah, like, no, no, one thing. No, one one important, one important thing that I can say where you and yourself are so right on this, yeah? Yeah. Because someone's giving me 18 shots or an a gram of, of gear, and they said to me, don't kill him. Don't kill him, you know. So I'm looking at the guy and I'm thinking, well, what do you expect me to do? I don't know. What to do. You know what I mean? Like, come on, man. Like, what do you want me to do? Like, oh, you know, yeah. one time, one time, right? One, one, no, but he's got a good, that's a good one. Oh, so the kind of gamesmanship that goes on. Yeah. So yeah. I'm there. I'm hungry right now. I'm telling you, how many things you got there? All right, couple, couple, couple. Yeah, yeah, All right, yeah. I'll tell you, I'm ready today. I'll kill everybody. I'll kill everybody. <laughs> <laughs> I'll kill everybody. <laughs> <laughs> I'll kill everybody. <laughs> <laughs> I'll kill everybody. I'll kill
But then they get shook in the face. Leave it today. Leave it today. Leave it today. No, 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 no. It's another day, yeah. Oh, all right. All right. All right. All right. And you, you know me. once you see that. Yeah. Oh, my God. Once then, you see that, you go in there and I'm like, I'm ready to stay? Really? Okay. 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 And then he says a week later, you, you really feel like that? No, I was ready last week. <laughs> <laughs> I don't feel like that today. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I don't feel like that today. No, 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 that day I felt like that. Yeah. Oh, man. Yeah. It's all the real yeah. talk here. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? I want him cut down there. Oh, just a little tap on the head there. And do, 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 my little coward. Oh, my little coward one. No, because you know what? I know he doesn't. You don't really want to do it and go like that. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I've done it. I've done it. I've done it. I know you've done that. I know you've done all the tricks. But on certain days. Tommy said that. He knows all the tricks. But on certain days, Dre, as Quincy would testify, but then on days when everybody expects his. You know, when you've done the talking yeah. and then all of a sudden now, I've got to do something. <laughs> <laughs> no, yeah, no, yeah, but, no, but, no, but, but yeah. 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 So now that the game's changed now, so I've put on gold <laughs> play. Oh yeah, I'm a serial killer. <laughs> <laughs> uh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Oh yeah, I saw it in there. Yeah, yeah. Oh, all right, today I'll do the job. <laughs> 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 remember this day. And after all of that, you know what you do? <laughs> yeah, yeah. No, 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 but oh, see, oh, yeah, wait, 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 wait. no, 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 but real talk, real talk, no, though, real talk, now, nah, 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 what is it, it's all bluff, but, with him, it's all bluff, but, it still works sometimes, yeah, but it's serious, so when we used to walk into the park, they don't know, he's trying not to be a hitman, yeah, so, that's what they don't know. He's trying not so, to be a hitman, man. Psychological factor. You got a corner me. When we used to walk <laughs> into the Ooch parties, me and yeah. Ovi, I turn up and go, yeah, yeah, you're really friendly. <laughs> yeah, we got to and then a minute later, nobody ain't producing the goods I walk in with Ovi. And all of a sudden, it goes quiet. <laughs> <laughs> Oh no! I can imagine no, no, that all yeah, yeah, yeah. No, the no, what, no, no, what, what, what I think, thing. what I think it is as well <laughs> in them situations, oh, yeah. Man's like, say, me and you have gone into the cell after you've gone in the first time. A man's gone in there now. Everyone's silent now. So now people want to pay you to get out of the cell now. <laughs> yeah, they want to pay you to get out. No, no, no. Go in, knock, knock on the door. You see the tissue up there. Obviously, knocking the. I'm like, yeah, yeah, bust the door. No, no, no. You can't come in. I'm like, bro. If you don't bust this door, don't ever come out of there. <laughs> and, yeah, yeah, quick unlock. You get me? So yeah, this all the time. No, bro, it's so scary because an act of violence, yeah. a, 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 an act of violence in the system, like how it was when the, the, all the men were locked up, it was so small. It took so little for you to stab somebody mm. or to cut their throat. No, you not. know, and like I said, we said we we're going to mention this. Obviously, um, it's a bit touchy. But I had a serious fight with two K fighters that are well known. Wait, 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 yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. Wait, oh, yes, I'm the only black man that was. I'm the only, well, obviously, I'm next door to this guy, Lee Russia. And obviously, I've got like a diamond watch on, chain, earrings, and all that. And I'm really next door, see, James, yeah, mate, you're sweet, mate, and all that. I'm like, yeah, yeah, brother, cool. So he's cooked a big uh, dinner. And he said, yeah, you're eating with us tonight. I said, yeah, man, safe, Lee, man. So he said, oh, it's pork. You don't eat pork, do you? So I said, nah. So I really told everybody else, don't, I don't want no food tonight. So I've gone to myself hungry. So I played one Neo song and I heard bang, bang on the wall. So I said, what's up, bro? So your music's too loud. It's, it's too late. So I right, cool, no problem. So I've knocked my next door, the other side. I said, I was I disturbing you. So I haven't heard a thing from you, bro. Nothing at all. It's my CD in it. I haven't even heard it. Anyway, so I said, listen, bro, when they open the doors, you know what time it is. So he's like, yeah, 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 you black, yeah. So yeah, I'm like, cool. Like, so, yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. Went, went yeah there that quick. Yeah, that quick, straight away. So remember, this guy is meant to be worth 20 million pounds, but yet still, he's paying me tobacco for trainers that I sold to one of his friends. Mm. So anyway, cut a long story short, when you come out, there's no black people out. This is me and bare cage fighters, muscly, <clears throat> looking out. So I busted the flat, I said, go, open his door. So the screws come down, shaking, open his door. So the guy's downstairs, I said, what? He said, come down there, then Lee, I want to deal with him. So I'm sprinting down the, down the twos, and he's sprinting down the ones. I've only got like my cage fighting uh, shorts on. 
Come down the stairs, come down the stairs. So as I've got there, he's gone, bang, bang. Like, I'm like, bro, I've lost this one still. <laughs> so, in, my head, in my head, I'm saying, nah, oh, we've lost this one. But then the, the adrenaline came, I just backed up my team. Foot, <laughs> neck. Like, it was just batting out like that. Obviously, the Russian guy's upstairs, he's banged himself back up. <laughs> and I'm, I'm walking down, I'm like, yep, me with her. Like, yeah, pretty boy, OV. And, yeah. and the female screams are like, Go over, go over me. I'm like, yeah. Real? Yeah, yeah, go over, oh, go over. Oh, yeah. real. If we're real, oh, dog, man. Real too. Bear man, I'm banging their doors. Raw! Over, he's done it again. He's done it again. I'm like, yeah, I'm like, hell yeah. Yeah, yeah. But that's it, bro. You know, these guys are professional cage fighters, bro. And they dropped off like that. Bro, I hear what I'm saying. The nurses. The, the female screws and the so nurses. Four of them said, "Go OV, go yeah, OV, go OV." Go OV. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. No, because yeah, what yeah, that tells place. me because what? I different was place. there. Different place. Yeah, 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 yeah. No. That's why they want the job there. Different yeah, yeah, yeah. No, no, Jay, in the format of Jay. knowing what I saw with Whoa. Obi's mental illness, they are playing to what they think his mental state is. So oh, by man. saying, exactly. "Yeah, go on Ovi, go on Ovi," it's all about you. Did it? They're actually playing along with his mental health yeah, because they're yeah. saying the things that register to him yeah. as normal for his yeah, walk yeah, of life. Yeah. So it's they, not go on Ovi, go on Ovi, yeah. you know, like in some funny kind of way. It's to make him walk carefully without a struggle mm, to come down. Yeah, 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 yeah Ovi, so it's that kind yeah, of thing. Yeah, yeah, so yeah, once yeah. again, yeah. it's like a thing where you know somebody's a bit. If, if it's a bit funny, a you place, talk. Yeah. You different talk place. through that spy hole. Yeah, well. Hi, Jay. How's yeah. it today? Seen any ghosts? Seen any of this? Yeah, oh, yeah, I yeah. saw him too. Yeah, yeah. Da, 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 da. Yeah, yeah, yeah. That kind of thing. Yeah, yeah That's yeah. what they're doing on it's that. what they call. Wow. That's two, how it is. There's two things. There's right, two man. things. I'm just yeah. saying. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. I was there. Yeah. 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 And Lee, Lee's a good geezer. You know? He's, He's just so Yeah, yeah, yeah. I wouldn't say, obviously. Because obviously, Lee, I remember from when he was a boy. I was yeah, but, but, but the reality of yeah, 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 yeah. the whole point of this is what I'm highlighting about the mental health yeah, in prison yeah, and the yeah. ways of uh, uh, squashing the fire with a bit of water, yeah, yeah, yeah. playing on what your yeah, personality yeah, yeah, defects yeah, yeah. are, yeah. and that kind of thing. Yeah, that's they know you well is. enough yeah. to say that blah blah blah. To me, yeah. that's preying on your vulnerability. Yeah, yeah, definitely. That's what going to think. Yeah, Best yeah, way they yeah, can yeah. deal with it at that time. Yeah, so yeah. what? I don't believe in it. That's how they do it. Yeah. But in the long run, yeah, yeah. There's two ways. There's two ways. Then that it reinforces your views yeah. of your illness about yeah. going over, over, over yeah, yeah, yeah. the great over, yeah. sit back, boom, yeah. boom, boom, boom. That yeah. reinforces. Well, it's mad, though. It's mad. Think yeah. about it. Yeah. Oh, They're letting him out. Yeah, yeah. Him doing that. And it's just like, yeah. Remember, in there, yeah, violence is normal. Normal. Yeah, you've put the people that are like that here. Yeah, even so to the officers. How you got to adapt to them is totally yeah. different. Mental yourself. health mixed yeah, with yeah, that yeah. now. With, wow. Man. Man, I think you've got two types. I of, saw. Um, listen, listen to me. I saw. We did it again. I saw over oh. round with three. I saw over round with three geezers and never take no count. Yeah, where, where, was, that? where was that? Where was that? Like, like, TV, TV room. TV room. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I'll I'll say, that was on the pool table. I like to come in. I think he needs help, and and then it looks like he doesn't. And I think, well, wow, wow, wow. I'm out of here. That's that's me. I have to be pulling out weapons and them kind of things. But physically. Ovi can't, you, you can knock him around to left, right, and center, not in a bad way, Ovi, mm. but you know, you can withstand that pain yeah, 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 and yeah. the journey that you've been on for all those 90 yeah, years yeah, to yeah. come here today yeah. is testimony about your character yeah, and strength yeah, 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 and to you. show the world thank you, thank that you. you never got beaten. Yeah, 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 yeah. Still a lovely man, yeah, yeah. still a lovely geezer, yeah, 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 yeah. still with those empathetic and thank sympathetic man. ways. Yeah, you yeah, still know the difference. You're like me. In a, a bunch of around a bunch of animals yeah, where yeah, it's gladiator yeah. rules, yeah. but then put us with normal people. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Like that. I think you know. You, you know what a lot of things like Quincy reminded me of it the other day. He's Achilles' heel. You know the Trojan War. Yeah. Uh, in Greece. Yeah. Yeah. Uh, obviously oh, Achilles. Yeah, Achilles. Yeah. No, he was a warrior. Yeah. And he was feared by all the kings and yeah, warlords. Yeah? yeah. But his weakness was his Achilles' heel. Yeah. But then if there was a problem, they would shout Achilles. When I was growing up until this point, if there was a problem in Brixton or the Vox or the club, yeah. Quincy, yeah. you hear me? <laughs> and he would come and he would not back down and he would do the job every single time. I've never seen him be defeated. 
In a fist no. fight. So not in a one on one. Not in a one on one. No, 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 not straight like that. No, not in no. his young days like that. No, I really, I witnessed all that. Exactly. That's why I laugh at everything. That's what because I'm saying. I was there with North, South, East, and West, all the same age. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And he, he had the, the final say. Not that it matters now. Yeah, yeah, yeah. It's irrelevant now. Yeah, he's relevant. He's relevant. He's saying what I saw. Yeah, yeah. I'm saying what I saw. So I went in that didn't happen. Like if people try to falsify things. Yeah, but there. That's what glorification is to me. Yeah, when something happened. It happened. It, that's right. Yeah. I, agree like, that, right. Yeah. I agree yeah. with that. I agree with that. Whatever so yeah. you can say, yeah. it's, you, it's up to you where you want to take it. No, no. The point I was making, though, yeah. No one yeah. is unbeatable. But, no, but, yeah, when, you yeah, yeah. but when you're telling, when you're talking about certain aspects, yeah. I'm not talking about Quincy yeah. where in in history with the no, back ten and the it, thing. It, I'm not talking about Quincy with yeah, nice. He's not nah. really a, a boring man in jail. But I'm saying basically on the one on one in the straight up, I didn't see that. I didn't see him. Yeah, no, but then yummy, yummy. Yeah, I saw how many people fall? Five. Yeah, yeah. Some of them yeah. big names as well. Well, yeah. apparently from way back in the day. But but Ovi, yeah. the point of everything, yeah. my man. Nineteen years yeah, 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 from yeah. all of that. Yeah. And think about it. Yeah. You are still the same, yeah. apart from the demon. Yeah. We all got our little bits of demons. Yeah. We know that I, in the last a uh, few weeks I'm in my third week of my detox now yeah. to finish off this shit once yeah. and for all yeah, yeah. no no yeah, no yeah, you, know, yeah. you have to go in before yeah, you come back out, out. Yeah. you know that kind of thing but yeah. the rest of the demons that yeah. I, I suggest that it's oh, only those kind of demons yeah, yeah, the yeah. rest of the stuff but, yeah, but everyday yeah. stuff yeah. is very that, loving again? sensitive yeah. empathetic all that kind yeah, of stuff yeah, yeah, yeah. those are not where the demons are it comes out one of the things that again is demon to say demon is again a part of perception no, I mean, right. no, it isn't. Right. It isn't. I'll tell you and what. It is. Hold on, Charles. The only reason yeah. I'm saying that is because there's people that are demons in play in in workplaces mm. that are worse demons than people that are locked up. Yeah. So yeah. it's like how you judge the person depending on where they are and the situation. You know, it's not. It's down to perception. Yes. And yes, because I agree. of like some people, sometimes God will put you in places to make sure that to, to, so you can help others. Yeah. So He knows the heart that you've got. So when yeah, you're in, yeah, when, yeah, so yeah, imagine yeah. Being in, shot, yeah. when you're in the Gun trenches, shot, you like know what, place like jail is like the trenches, yeah. Yeah, he's like. The trenches, so it's like yeah. when you're in the trenches helping people, you've gone yeah. to hell to help people. Yeah, of course you do. Yeah. So if you've gone to help to yeah, help, yeah, help yeah, people, yeah, then yeah. How you, 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 you know what I'm saying? Yeah, and, then, and then you help, and you end up helping more people than you hurt. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And then you come and tell the story. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? Yeah, yeah. I keep, you he's made a big point. Yeah, yeah. 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 Hey, Jay, Jay, you know, in reality, no. that's where you know the difference between empathy levels and sympathy levels because you're going to get angry with me because I didn't really want to kill him. So, therefore, you're saying, but boy, you let him off the. But I'm thinking, I'm surrounded by so much fucking wickedness exactly. that I think I don't even feel. And then on the day, imagine feeling like that <laughs> yeah. when I've got to absolutely go all out but when, when just you, to when show you, everybody. Yeah, exactly. When hold on a minute. Like you. I'm not all talk. Exactly. They are. Add that, then. That's, that's, and then they all go. Yeah, yeah. yeah. Clap, yeah. But that's what they're doing. Next you're day, true, it's forgotten yeah. about you living on your nine, you're yeah. dead, you live in every year, but I went yeah, through yeah, yeah. I saw yeah. Friends, there's days that you got people through. I went through. There's days that you got people through. Yeah, yeah, yeah. There's days that you got people through. Obviously, we have them stories, but there's always the day, there's so many days where. And they hate people. People that are saving someone. There you go. They didn't want to do yeah, 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 yeah. Through, but then let me. I, all yeah. the whispering. I can round it off. I can round it off. Too bad, Oh, yeah, you told him, man. Yeah, me told him. He's gonna make a point. But then I would, I would say. I know you did. More than one. Yeah, no, I would say like all of these points are good. Yeah, I know Quincy's gonna give us an example after, but helping people out in situations when they're at their lowest point. Yeah. That oh, is what makes it because why are you going to help somebody? Why are you going to help somebody? you know what it felt a, like when you they're, needed they're driving it. a Rari. Right. Right. Why are you going to help them? That's why right. are you going to do that? It's a good when feeling when there's an angel there. Yeah, you are asking the question. Good, like, good, yeah. good so, feeling. Sorry, let me finish. Let me finish. Let me finish. Exactly, Q. I heard this in a song, yeah? My nan used to say this to me. It's not about what you do to somebody. It's not what you say. Yeah. It's about how you make them feel. Yeah. Because you can take back the other two, but how you make them feel, you can't take that back. Exactly. You can give someone 10 grand, but make them feel like shit. Yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah, yeah. 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 It's just 
how you living. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Do you know what I mean? And yeah. like he said, I could never take it people, because I'm suffering. People would prefer to help the guy driving the Ferrari yeah. when they don't need your help, bro. Yeah, yeah, yeah. You understand yeah. what I'm saying? They'll they'll take they, it though. They're ready to offer that guy help. They'll take it. They'll take it though. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Going back to the the prison point, um, I heard someone um eloquently quote that. Um, prison can be good karma for souls that come into this world. Yeah. And it was a powerful quote for to you to then heal past lives and trauma in your own life. And if you can do that in the darkest place and you must be a child of light. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Wow. Why does Benny take that out? Hold on, Jay. Therefore, therefore, already knows that mad, bad and sad. Yeah. God knows what your really intention is. Yeah. So when they say he got a squeeze, but look at the badness he did. Look at the bad. prophets but in the Holy Book. I believe been through so it much. depends yeah. what Not one reason. of the prophets had an easy life. No. No. You understand what I'm saying? Every yeah. prophet in every holy book. I'm not going to go into whether it's the Bible. Like we can, we talk whether it's the Bible, whether it's the Quran, whether, all of these holy books. Yeah. When they talk of these prophets and these these great men, they did. They had hard lives. They were murderers. Yeah. They were this. They were that. But and it's where it's where they came. Because of the yeah, experience, yeah, yeah, yeah. and just what he the says, wisdom, that the insight, because you, that, cause you know by then, right. you understand yeah, what I'm saying? So, so maniac, always, always child, child of light. Yeah. So but then, then maniac is saying, then what? Like you're saying, so that when we all go through that stuff, yeah. the wisdom, the insight, you look at everything in its totality. Yeah. Yeah. It makes you either makes you or breaks you. Yeah, 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 but God has the final say. Yeah, because yeah, he says that. Hold on, then you went through all that. Now you've got all the skills to know what that means. That means and that means. So you but could help me. Yeah. So that's why I set on the journey. But yeah, that's, that's why. So you yeah, me. That's yeah, the first yeah, thing. No, 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 no. Yeah. Another point. Five bits. But I think it's absolute bullshit. I think they're full of fucking shit on yeah. certain things. Yeah, 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 and if yeah. they ever see the lost people in the cat A's, like not so much over because he was strong and thing. Not many make it like that. You looked around the landing. Um, Q, you see them isolated on their own. A little small 21 year old who's got life for a domestic or killing his dad or his mum, sadly, you know, for whatever reasons, you know, but he's a kid and he's all alone on the land. Then you've got the Peter Bryans and the other nutcases that are, you know, on their own and things. And you look and you think, What's this they ain't about? doing nothing for you. Yeah, yeah, you're yeah. lost. You have to ask people for cigarettes. Yeah. You have to pick up butts. Yeah. You're scared to go in the shower. You don't I saw that today as well. That yeah. ball. Yeah. You're not picking up butts off the floor. Yeah. No, but it's the lost generation. Like, there's like four or five of them. You what know what the fuck they're doing? What about mine? When they went down, went down to the floor at the same time. Yeah. Yeah. Mine from um, Bricky originally got nicked alive for a murder. I can't remember. It was in Bristol or somewhere. Duncan. The man, he, they've done one course, the man's been on the book for 30 odd years. Yeah. And it's terrifying. It's sad, you know, when you see that people picking up butts. Do you know, you oh, know, do you know the fact that there, there, there's a few of them? It's sad that you, it's sad that you yeah, can find people. The lost them. generation in you the like, queue. you got five of you. And you've lost. Lost. Well, I was waiting for you in Lucian. Yeah. There's no My solution. You so basically you're saying five medicate you, you, five of you can't medicate you, yeah, put you in there. Because you remember no. they got no mental health wings now, Jay? Yeah, 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 yeah. You know, they, because know of the boss. prison, uh, the, the policies and the money yeah, and the yeah, short yeah, things. Yeah. You know, in the old days they had one wing of a peer in the categories, you know, like white one had a psychological uh, uh, psych, uh, wing. Whiskey, whiskey, Yeah, that's it, that's yeah. it. But in other locals and things, they haven't got those isolated wings to look after the mental yeah. health no more. This no, is why. No. This is why that when they come out, these yeah, things happen. Yeah, 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 yeah. But no, yeah. I'm being honest. It's yeah. something close to your heart and yours. It's something close to your heart. But we yeah. see it with our own eyes. The mistreatment and think it's only because Ovi yeah. had the intelligence, You're for the, the head side, because he worked it all out. For the you see, but yeah. how many can't do that? No, yeah, how can yeah. how many how, how can many biscuits of freebies? Bipolars, how can they be able to play? All right, they've all got their little tricks and things to play against the system because they've lost trust there. That's why you've got to play tit for tat because you've got to use, they're using the diagnosis against you. So you, if you're intelligent like that, have to say, well, how do I get the best out of it? Then? Because yeah. they're not doing anything to help you. Smart enough to know that. Many of them are lost. But then, no, I mean, lost and gone down to sex for I'll years. Go on, I'll, I'll go on this further for all of us in here. It's, um, we were born into a world, into this world, where the system was set up to test the soul. And prison and all these places are here to test the soul chemically, mentally, emotionally, spiritually, to see if that all human beings can be broken. And we are testament to show that they cannot be broken because after five years behind the door, you can kind of, the walls can close. And after 10 years is when you will find out if you're mentally 
capable of going on for the rest of your life yeah. after 10 years. Yeah. That's when you find out who you are. You're spiritually like they do in Star Wars and the Jedi when he goes through the cave. This yeah. is a mental, spiritual thing. This is why the people that have the most trauma have the capacity to do the most healing yeah. because they are sent here to have all the wisdom. So when you speak yeah. to anybody on this earth, yeah. you have the authority yeah. because you have the wisdom and you have yeah. the experience. So then when you tell people, don't you dare give up. So I'll tell you what I identified by that because it was a valid, valid, excellent point, oh, Mania, is that you, when you know that you don't lose the compassion for people, yeah. when you know that you're wrong, when you accept your part in things, <laughs> when that never changes, you know that you're ready yeah. to share. Yeah, but yeah. That's the key. Right. If you get bit of twisted yeah, and yeah, get yeah. it all figured around like the other way there where it was there for yeah, it was yeah, in, yeah, oh, yeah. horrible this, horrible that, bit of twisted, cynical, yeah, whatever yeah, way yeah, yeah. you want to put it. We met loads of them over was years. That was beautiful. Ian and I look in the mirror every beautiful morning. I didn't do nothing wrong. Yeah, yeah, I got 25, 30 years ago, but your fingerprints was there. You didn't know the <laughs> fucking phone call was there. Guys, the yeah. things were there. The place yeah, of my yeah. was there. But yeah, still, yeah. you can't. How many of those guys have you met? I'd say... They didn't do anything. All the evidence is fucking there. <laughs> it's funny, nigga. <laughs> but you can't look at... That's what makes you bitter. Because yeah, yeah. you got an accepting yeah. that you was a horrible, horrible <laughs> yeah. bastard. But yeah. Doing things to people that, you yeah. know, there was other ways of doing but things in a different yummy. way rather than taking life and, yeah, and that yeah, kind yeah. of stuff, Q. And yeah. hey, you got to look at your own shit first. Yeah. It's like they, You're wrong. It's like, it's like only if they get caught for it. Yeah, yeah. Then yeah. they yeah. can find yeah. redemption. Yeah. So yeah. They don't get caught for it. No. We've talked about it before. They don't yeah, get caught they, for it. Yeah. I'm not accepting it yeah, even in subconsciously. Yeah. I'm like, Imagine, I'm like, straight I mean, rejection. I, 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 so I can do something bad yeah. because I didn't get found guilty. Yeah. All right, so I'm not going to go through no, no, no. the think process about, of healing about, from that situation because yes, no, I just no, said fuck. Yes. No, so, no, therefore, no, Quincy, no, no, no. so what, how many times are we on remand? Am I on a remand ring? Yeah, I'm on trial today. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Now I'm looking to get off. Yeah, but you've done it though. Mm. Yeah, 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 but I'm looking to not get You come back with a guilty. No, they stitched me up, man. I was thinking, but hold on a minute. You were guilty. Yeah, yeah. Like, what are yeah. you screaming about? Yeah. No, nah, mate, they cheated, they cheated, they cheated. <laughs> They cheated. God yeah. cheated. Uncle Yami, Uncle Yami, let me make a quick point. God yeah. might have got you nicked. Nothing to do with them. <laughs> true, <laughs> true, about that true, one there. No you know when God gets you nicked, you're fucked. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Nothing to do with the feds. God got you nicked. Yeah, yeah, yeah. 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 I'd say, me, after doing a life sentence and doing like 19 years from six. Sorry, do you think God does get people nicked though? I do. Because some people are a threat to the community. And then get you yeah. the smallest yeah. bit. Yeah. No, yeah, yeah, yeah. 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 It's true, isn't it? It is true. Because I'm from the community, so yeah. God needs oi, to put, oi, get oi, them locked up oi, so oi. he can protect his yeah, other people yeah, that yeah. don't need to be yeah, injured. Yeah, yeah. So, true, true, what about true, that, that scenario, true. Q? Yeah. What about that scenario, Q, yeah. where there's this one stupid little stupid I believe evidence. that. I believe that God put me in jail because I was out of control. Yeah, very safety, probably. That was out of control. It's correct. What is it then? If it's not God, then. So why is it then the most like simplest piece of evidence that everybody's supposed to go to court and win? Why is it that one little small little strand there that gets you, gets you tied in and you're dead? In, you know, yeah. for what you did. And you're thinking, no, oh, that weren't enough evidence. That weren't enough. Yeah, it's it's something you might have been yeah. as clever as you thought you was. Yeah, I good. planned it. I left nothing behind. Yeah, 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 you know, yeah, like, yeah, yeah. how many cases do is, yeah? You'll get a little piece of evidence <laughs> to get you in prison. Yeah, yeah. yeah, and then when you get in the dock, yeah, make you say something stupid. Yeah, yeah. Or whatever. Just fuck your whole yeah, shit up. Yeah. <laughs> so what, what this is about yeah, as well yeah, yeah, is yeah. for or us to... a witness and they fuck up. Yeah. For us to change directions. So we, we're on a path and yeah. I was on a path and obviously I then ended up getting 500 years in total, I think it was, and 48 indictments. And then there was a... There was a a couple of, I think it was a couple of cases of this and a couple of cases of that. And um, basically, it's then it's a spiritual awakening of, then I learned, I, f I met a Buddha monk inside there within six months and changed to a vegan diet, which then controlled the, the, the mental element of the food and the aggression. So I could change my body to alkaline so I never got sick the whole sentence up to today. I don't need a doctor or a dentist and I can go to Africa without a malaria shot. So it's basically getting into a, a, a thinking of meditation to put out, meditation is to activate the, the chakras that then put out good energy out into the universe mm. so then you're changing the whole manifestation from him saying that god can put you in prison yeah yeah to yeah. change the directions for then us to sit here as testimonies to the human spirit mm. yeah you know what i mean so the people that plan the most darkest things on this earth are always frightened of what the human spirit can do because yeah, it's yeah, 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 yeah. and this that's is where endeavor as is the, good, the poem man. of the invictus is yeah, yeah. I, I, I thank what it feels like yeah, yeah, i thank yeah, the gods never run away from that. yeah i thank the gods whoever may may be for my unconquerable soul
Thank you, man. Thank you. But then can I just add one thing on to that? Add one thing on to that. Shake Shakespeare. What, what, what Shakespeare. You said, the black Shakespeare. What you said there, brother. <laughs> It's so true because how can, some, how can somebody be on 24, 24, 24 hour cellular confinement, yeah? And that person is more free in that cell than what somebody is walking on the road. How can your mind elevate out of that cell? So only your body's in there. But your mind's your death. Yeah. yeah. Like, I, I came out the soul many times. I think you've done that more times than me, bro. The beautiful you know thing about all of that is that the soul it cannot be captured wow. because the mind is always free. Because what happens in the soul is, as the Buddha once taught, that the isolation focuses the mind. So then you have, then you interact with the mind, and then you have the spectrums of light of dark matter that then permeate within the soul because you focus. Well, no matter how they've built the prison of the Freemason system of trying to put metal in the cell or the light that damages the eyes, or it's done on ley lines where the bed is also faced to the east of the west, so the ley lines go through so you can't sleep at night. For whatever they've put in the system in place, we've beat it, we've shown the capacity, whether they've poisoned the water or they've tried to give you anything to do with an element of mental control because it's all to send you insane. For then for you to then come out and sit in this table, it's a beautiful thing. <laughs> It's almost like perfect. Everything's perfect. You know, to perfection. You know what I mean? That's it. That is deep, man. Like, I think managed to watch his back. I managed to watch his back, like from that little still there and have it on loop, bro. Yeah. Master, master, that little part there. Hey, Olaf, serious. It was good, isn't it? Yeah. Beautiful. 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 There was a geezer yeah. called Glenn or something. Glenn, Glenn Grant? He used to open up all the oh, stitches yeah, yeah. of his body. Self-harmer. All the self-harm. Yeah. And then say, oh, the hospital has to come up with his guts out. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. something stuck. I stuck yeah, 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 yeah. Batteries. He used to put batteries in there. He used to do all kinds. Yeah. Uh, I think with him, uh, he had the chance. He went to Broadmoor. Uh, for six weeks, yeah. and I think he smashed up one of the yeah, yeah. the uh, the wards there because he wasn't allowed to smoke. So he came back to Long Larton, and yeah, his flesh was rotting. So all of the things that he was doing, they couldn't stitch it up anymore. So he's actually starting to rot. So we were giving face masks in there because of the smell. You know, it's very important that the public and the viewers know. Yeah. What kind of deficiencies yeah. on what extreme from the criminals, me, Quincy, yeah. maniac, your differences yeah. in yeah. Yeah. But there are even more extremer and streamer yeah, yeah, and streamer yeah, 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 cases yeah. Yeah. where there can't be no solution yeah. by way of help for. No, no, you know, I So think, basically yeah. everybody's just a, it's just a regular thing, yeah. he's opened himself up, put his hideous things in it, yeah. he's got to go to hospital. Yeah, 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 yeah. So and, and yeah, uh, in the cat is it? Yeah. It's, 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 cool. it's right. For I would just say, the feeling of helplessness, hopelessness, no help. and never getting out. Yeah. And I think he spoke his cellmate into hanging himself, and I think that's why he got lifed off in prison. But till this day, I know he's doing really well. He's in Rampton. Is he? He's actually living, or they got they call their old villas. I thought it'd be so. He's actually, yeah, he's actually living in a villa mm. in Rampton. So you know, it can work out. It can be dire. And it could work out to be better. Like Queen said, is it a sign from God? Is it the power of God? Yeah. Or is somebody deluded? Or even more serious, are you grandiose deluded? Now, grandiose delusions are, say, all right, I'm a character from a book, uh, and I know what this character does. I'm a millionaire. Uh, I'm an art lover. I've got, uh, I, I drive a Rari. Now, in my mind, I believe this, but it's not true. So, like you <laughs> said, people can play along with it, to keep on keep like the the delusion going, or they can just shut it. Shut up, man. Behave yourself. Come out of that, and you snap out of it. He said it to me. I've been in the chapel with him in Elsby before. I've done before. Yeah, well. and he's come in. I've got yeah, Quince, man. Look, I've got my cashmere jumper it's on. Based on your yeah. trust and the love for the person. Yeah, yeah, yeah. If you know. Yeah. If you have like in the day when you say yummy, I'm I'm, I'm thinking. Yeah, and then yeah, you're yeah. not going to say that to many people. No, no, But no. you say it to me and I say to you, no, yeah, yeah. listen to this. It's yeah. not that, it's that. And you're going, yeah, oh, okay. Yeah, you see, and yeah, you, you snap, snap out, out of it. You snap but out But you're yeah. not going to give that, that kind of, that love yeah. and hand it over too easy. You no, no, know, no, you're not, you're, you're not. Because you see too many yeah, yeah. untrustworthy yeah, yeah, situations yeah. and people you have, yeah. around you that are yeah. not going to read, that made you believe that it's not probably telling you. If someone says to you, I've got your best interests at heart, run the other way. That's what I would say. Because... That statement there 
is a <laughs> double edged sword at the end of the yeah. day. If someone is down for you, I'm like that, you all know that. You all know. You all know that without them it's even message, uh, even <laughs> even articulating that word at the end of the day. So. Like you say, we Wait, know. Oh, so what was the worst yeah. of the Yeah, because if you if, what was the if, worst if, if you do, I already know anyway. Uh, uh, I would say, uh, <laughs> yeah. I would say, Rampton the, the, the worst one because they got a thing called black aspirin, yeah, and exactly. that means they boot you with the black boots until like you're unconscious. So oh, that can happen. Days. But then Rampton, serious, I never want to even you know go back there. But then I've even got an email from the director at Broadmoor going back there next week to do a recovery college. To do a little talk to the lads there. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. Mm. I got an email from Outlook. Yeah. So yeah, yeah, I'm going back there. So making the change, the role is called expert by experience. So you have to have lived the life of a patient or a prisoner. I heard Matty talking about that. Yeah, yeah, Matty, yeah, yeah. Matty's mm. doing it here in the Bethlehem Royal Hospital. Mm. But yeah, yeah, collaborative work, bro. And these things, you know, I've been on radio for the today program. I've done the mm. interview on there. I've got the transcripts and everything. I've written two. I've oh, written two I, plays I, I as well. So I've written two plays. You know, I've got yeah. a book that's out as well called Pattern Up that was done in Seven Sisters Tottenham with the Tottenham lads. You know, so yeah, in two thousand. Yeah, 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 yeah. yeah, yeah. Um, for the rights. So he's right to his play. Yeah, 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 yeah. yeah, yeah, yeah. So well, it's actually, my play, but they've got the rights to it now. Him two thousand pound for the rights to his play. And is it still still showing? Yeah, yeah, it's still showing, man. There's, I think it's the 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 script is mm. is yeah. being mm. uh, read and sold by eighteen thousand different people. So they bought the royalties. Yeah, they so bought the royalties. I donated some to charity. Yeah. Uh, I put some in the bank account, and the rest just regenerate it back yeah, into the system. Yeah. So there's people that are in the system that haven't got COVID or whatever. So I can go to Brixton, pick up two tracksuits from JD or the market, and then that's that's a whole brand new outfit for them. Yeah. Something that they never had. Because if you're a prisoner in the hospital system, you don't get benefits. Mm. So you get £20 a week. Mm. But then if you're on benefits, you're getting like £150 a week. Mm. You know, and then what, when you get your payback money, when you're waiting for the claim to come through, you're getting like, like two grand. So somebody with no teeth and this gum, then now they've got all gold. You mm. know? So, yeah, it's, it's, it's a treasury system. But if you look at things too pessimistically, you know, he's been in the dark, mm. and that's what I would say on He's the mental health. Being optimistic, mm. optimistic. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah, yeah. yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. Man's yeah. got enough reasons to be pessimistic. Like, exactly. Can't be, like, I can't exactly. Be exactly. Yeah. Too much energy. Yeah. So, oh, yeah. That, like you. So then yeah. that bit, I, 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 I can't yeah. remember if you clarified though. Yeah. You know, like we were talking about four separate um, schizophrenia. Yeah, 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 yeah. All thinking the same thing. Yeah. Um, how is it possible then for these so-called experts yeah. to imagine what everybody's thinking yeah, yeah, if yeah. they're not one themselves? Uh, um, I would just say to you, like I said, it's a it's a ticking box exercise, isn't it? Mm. So if they can tick five boxes with five different people, like I said, to iterate myself, to repeat myself, that means that their monthly wage right. is paid. Right. So yeah. it's, uh, the doctor said to me, are you hearing voices? So I says, no, he goes, you're hearing my voice. So just for that one mistake, I'm now up in the pedestal of a guy that hears voices just because I said I don't hear voices. So it doesn't matter. The medication brings it out in you even more. There's people that I know that have said like things like uh, they feel like their beds at night are sinking through the floor, like into hell. Mm. And, you know, just as the demons are coming and it gets too scary for them to handle, yeah. the bed goes even deeper on the ground. So just imagine, that's like travelling. You know, you got the the Dante uh, Knight Kadush, who was a Freemason, Knights of the Templar. These are stories that people are written about from all them times from the Crusades that schizophrenics are experiencing on on a daily basis. I rent a room to somebody at my my house on Lakeview Road, and he always says to me, "Oh, please, like, will you do some prayers with me? I know I'm not religious, but will you help me?" And he, I said, what, "What? Why did you like first like go away?" He said, "Cause I hit somebody." So when he said that, I'm like. Okay, he might be trying to throw one day. I'll have to be ready for this one. But he's a cute guy. He's a nice guy. He pays his rent. He cooks nice food, jello rice, and all the rest of it. And <laughs> life is good. So I'm just saying, how can 5, 10, 15, 20 people all over the world 
hear the same voices at the same time and just be schizophrenic, schizophrenic. It's too easy to do that. Can I uh, interject? Yeah. Basically, with um, this whole planet that we live on, it's uh, opposing forces and the force they want to take away from you the most is positivity. That's what placebo effect does. Yeah, yeah? Whether you take a tablet that's got something in it or not, the placebo effect is positivity. Yeah. It radiates through your immune system, to your cells, to your neurons, to your GILA cells. It goes all around, to, you know, all up and down the human spectrum of, of your existence. So fear, tablets and a non-alkaline diet it is a free ways to take away your your human power on this planet mm, yeah. so if you can keep those free then nobody can oh, do yeah, anything yeah, to yeah. you on this planet That's you can so become true. invincible so when i say don't you dare well, give up free. the free uh, the alkaline diet the positivity yeah and i can't remember the other one yeah. and so it's basically those put that inspective then yeah, it, huh? Basically, not to fear. Yeah, not to fear, yeah. which we don't have any fear, as you know. Yeah, no. yeah, yeah, and yeah. basically, those things, you put them into perspective and then it gives you the heart of a warrior. It gives you the heart yeah, of a spiritual guru. Yeah. And then it also gives you the powers to fight against anything evil. Yeah, right. Because yeah, you give them yeah. no permission to kill you on this planet. Yeah, yeah, yeah. That's so yeah. true, man. So true, yeah. man. Yeah. I just think that, you know, when you see, when I see anybody sad or in tears, uh, if I love them, it's even worse, but I'll just cry myself and get angry or emotional. But then seeing anybody sad nowadays, for me, it jerks my heart now. And it shows me I, I have got empathy because a psychopath does not have any empathy. Mm-hmm. So it shows me that I'm normal. You know, um, I see yummy thinking and what it is basically, yummy is the positivity is what is hope. That's why you're sitting there talking to me now because there is a burning desire of hope. You know you can do better. You know you're disciplined. You know your potential. So you have the hope. That is what the quintessential of the human existence that makes the heart because beat. Because of the things you've rode through already. That's what I'm history. saying. You're but st- the one thing that can never change, sorry, uh, Maria, is the lying on the bed, mm. the deep thinking, mm. the reading of books, mm. the the literature, mm-hmm. the knowledge to mm-hmm. join the dots of some of the things. I've done all my studies from way, way back. Mm-hmm. Like, obviously, first of all, I'm only human, but psychological trauma. I had to go back to learn about myself. Mm-hmm. So I got deep into it. I never really was a fiction man apart from Ellsbury. Mm-hmm. But what I'm about to say to you all that lying on the bed, spiritual growth, literature by way of reading, it, it makes your vocabulary better. It joins the dots, but because you think, oh, that resonates with me. So that, oh, that belongs to, oh, now I know what that means. Yeah. That's the teaching of that. The one thing that it doesn't do, lying on that bed for years and years and years, is to know that when you come out, uh, for all those things that we have to make us sit around the table mm. in, by way of knowledge, experience, and giving back, yeah. it still doesn't solve the thing for me mm. of the adjusting and yeah. the consistent way of doing something. Yeah. Get your dinner, go behind the door, lie down, think, read, different world out here. Yeah, 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 so yeah, all true. the demons that I never knew existed, yeah, yeah, they yeah. just because I'm not involved in crime, yeah. I've had to suffer dearly lately, because mm-hmm. of feeling lost and hopeless and the mm-hmm. feelings of mm-hmm. not being able to understand fully like Quincy has to uh, prep me on certain things here but Alex you've got to do nothing uh, how can I do know that mm-hmm. you know what I mean and that is demoralising in itself yeah. because you can lose self esteem from that mm-hmm. so I'm a firm believer the knowledge the insight the wisdom all of it combined together gives us the knowledge to give back yeah. by the behaviours and the consistency of doing stuff mm-hmm. once you're outside you have to do it for a long period of time yeah. for it to become normal mm-hmm. yeah, it's really impossible yeah. for 20, 30 years 40 mm-hmm. years to lie that in that same position and then think because you've got the knowledge and experience and you've got the empathy you've got all yeah, those things yeah, yeah. that matter but even that mm-hmm. but how many conversations happen like this? not many because it's the real talk these are the healing these are, this, this, these are the healing processes yeah, yeah but healing um, it, but, 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 but this is all healing in that way Jay what That's I'm saying, saying you're talking it out, but you're you're getting, you're talking it out. yeah but institutionalisation yeah. living in that set way which is testament to obviously Ovi yeah. who's coming from an even a harder position than me yeah. to reach that stage he's at now the defects that you get, you get from all those years in prison yeah. and from the things you see constantly by in a small surroundings where everything's heightened yeah. by other people's negative energy yeah, and yeah. what he's thinking and what they're saying and what yeah. blah, blah, blah. in reality out here it doesn't it's not a, a feature it's not going to be a feature because things are further away from you yeah, yeah. so the scars of the trauma of yeah, institutionalization yeah. run much deeper than being able to explain books yeah. uh, literature all the things that growth means and giving yeah. back and all that yeah. that's without yeah, a shadow yeah. of a doubt that's yeah. Why we're here, yeah, but yeah. the defects that you get 
from living that life in that way. Yeah. There's many, many other things that the public Aspects to it, there's a lot of aspects to it, man. But another thing is that so it's about right. seeing around people that's been through that similar situation. But it helps me. It yeah. helps all of us, it helps you the know? world. That, it helps the to world. get back, you know? Yeah. But it doesn't mean that we solved it. Mm-hmm. What, what is solving? It, what what is solving, solving is... What, where is the position I'm when thinking everything is solved? to be without pain, to know the little things, to know that, you know... But you, who's you, got that? No one, no one, everybody's got their own, but people that have been out here longer than me and you in here, yeah, no, they'd saying, be I'm able saying, to do the natural day to day things. Just I'm, just, I'm just attacking the word soul. Mm. You know what I'm saying? No, no we're, never, so. we're never fully sold. No, nothing's ever sold. But no. there are yeah. solutions by way of the stuff that we've talked about so to make sense to about what, I'm, what we're feeling. No, but I still never going to change that we all got weaknesses. No, but sometimes I think that the solution yeah. is protection. Exactly. Yeah, that's right. Yeah. Yeah, I, I feel like, like we, we want to solve yeah, everything. Yeah, yeah, we want yeah. everything to be solved. Yeah. yeah. And sometimes we don't realize that it's we're journey is hard It's everlasting. We protection. We don't want to feel. We don't want to feel. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, yeah. But some of those things. Yeah. Feeling they can never go there. Yeah, I mean, it's too scary. Yeah, 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 yeah. I think the word soul should be replaced by uh, long term, short term, and medium goals. Yeah, yeah, because when you reach your goals, that means you like that had another chapter in your yeah, life, yeah. read, written, and you yeah. move on to the next. Yeah. The only time the chapter will be finished. It's when you're a retired person, you own your house, you're your kids, your grandkids, your mom, your and everybody, it's finished, and it's not finished yet, you get me? So when, obviously, cause last time, obviously, you're yeah. dead and whatever, that's when, you get me, that's your testimony there, bro. Yeah. You get me, and all of the good things you've done, all of the yeah. bad things exactly. are all balanced out, bro. Exactly. You get me, and yeah. I think everybody in this room has got more good things that they've done that's than right. what they've done bad, even doing this right now. I've learned from him, like from my life, I've learned from yeah. Quincy, from my life, Yami, yeah. everybody here. Yeah, yeah. So, you know, anyone that's going to be watching this has to know that there is more to life than trying to solve life. 100%. It's yeah, yeah. Like, I'm going to use DMX as an example, yeah? Yeah. Say for instance, just someone that we all know worldwide, you know what I mean? Yeah. And, um, you know, like people sometimes when someone dies, they say, oh, everyone's listening to his music now. Nah, they weren't listening to him before he died yeah. and all that. And I'm like, they probably were, but... Mm. When someone dies, it's like a closing. A, it's like a closing of them. Mm. Mm. So the way, the way people start receiving people after they die, they start celebrating your life. Like mm. after you die, it's like uh, people don't even realize that they do it. You know mm. what I'm saying? Yeah. But so even if they weren't interested in you that much in the, in the last five, ten years of when you was alive, but when you die, it's like what? And now everyone starts celebrating your whole yeah, life yeah, 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 without yeah, even yeah, knowing yeah. it. Yeah. Do you know what I'm saying? Yeah, so it's like, yeah. that's what kind of happens with everyone. Doesn't everyone it? Yeah. And if you, he's a good example because he went for a lot of just. For, uh, for everyone to see trials and tribulations yeah, and whatnot. Yeah, yeah. But when he died, people felt a very spiritual side of him. Yeah, yeah. No one really kind of, they never really attacked the the sides the, of the battles that he went yeah, through. Yeah, yeah, everyone yeah. was just more talking about him as yeah, someone that yeah, yeah. uplifted them when they saw him or gave them mm-hmm. inspiration. Or, and even yeah. he did, when you look at the little videos he did, he was always encouraging someone, even if he was high. Yeah. So, that, but that's what they, that's what he, that's what people left, that's what he left in the end. Yeah, you know what yeah, I mean? Yeah, what people yeah, remembered yeah. him was, yeah. he said prayers with us and yeah. he said this with us and he said that with us. So. It, all of the other stuff never got, yeah. you, know, you know what I'm saying? Yeah, so, yeah. Highlight, never got highlighted. Because highlight, what, what you're really about is what people celebrate when you, when you, when you're, when your chapter in your, in your life is done. Yeah. You know what I mean? They don't just, they don't look into where you, they don't even see half of the behind the scenes of your makings. They don't see the good or the bad, but they see, they know what they, they feel when they meet you. They know how you make them feel when yeah. you yeah. meet them. They yeah. know where you went out your way for them. Yeah. So that's why, I don't, that's why following narratives of people when, through other people don't make sense. Mm. It doesn't, no. You know what I mean? No, it's like doesn't. you're just following in a narrative. Yeah, 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 that guy yeah. told you before you... Uh, yeah, 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 yeah. Like, Instead of actually... Like pre, yeah, like preconceptions of yeah. people. Because you just said the same thing. You just said that a minute ago. That someone said, oh, yeah, but... Uh, he wasn't saying we, we, he was, they weren't saying that while he was alive they didn't give him that little yeah, thing but yeah. at the same time now you want to say oh he was alright yeah, but he exactly. wasn't saying that exactly. when he was alive <laughs> it's all of a sudden now all the stuff that was said but before it's a sheep thing it's cool it is so no, it's like, or different narrative but different also, ways of thinking and feelings mm. you know some I mean? things get said you think but well, there's no purpose or reasoning behind that mm. line you just said yeah because yeah. yeah. it don't make no sense how yeah. can it be oh oh he's gone now oh it's a pity that but then <laughs> you say something like oh yeah but something derogatory at a time when <laughs> it is blah 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 that. but what are you going to say that for exactly yeah. what's the yeah. narrative there you never met him you never said nothing yeah. you yeah. never yeah. followed nothing yeah. you never got to know him personally exactly. but yet you're going to have an opinion so that's why people like you when you're doing. So I got to listen to that hearsay yeah. they said in jail. Like that's what you, 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 exactly. you know, is it all right? Then. You know. And then when you, know, you when you sit down street. with people like yourselves, what's good about it? It's the facts. You all done significant numbers in jail. Yeah. Uh, 19, yeah. 10, what eleven? 
No, I'm just one sentence on a go. You want to add all that up? It gets. Mine's 18 if you want to get technical, but I'm just talking on one shot. Yeah, so 25 yeah. with the three of us. Yeah, so. You done yeah, 20, 30, years years. Years. Yeah, it's about 100 years. Yeah, yeah. yeah. Do you understand what I'm saying? Yeah. 38. 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 Yeah. 54. 54. Yeah. And then 9 and your 10. 64, 19. That's yeah. like 70, 70 odd yeah. years yeah. in this room. And that's just with one bird. It's a testimony to the human spirit. And going back to Yami. Yami doesn't realise that he the hope is is his discipline. Why he's sitting there in front of me now is his hope. It's his discipline right. yeah it's his mantra he, the, the the demons and the time that was that we lost is the scars to get to this point that's to save right. souls to save yourself right. yeah so he's a perfect human being in my eyes you know? because there's a thousand people that make a million a year normal life they wouldn't be able to walk in those shoes mm. so he's here to shed light that's yeah right. he's yeah. that is his battle scars that's but he right. still's yeah. got another 60 years on the earth yeah. to then turn that time to where you go oh i deserve to be free oh the yeah. beach is lovely yeah. i know where he's trying to get See, to yeah. i know who he is so because i know he's just answered what i put in basically my shortcomings yeah, because what what's difficult for me might not be difficult yeah, for all yeah, of you, but yeah, my yeah, shortcomings are the main the thing on him. I see a beach. Q says, Yeah, but ain't you gonna go there? I said, Go there for what? You know, they asked me the other day, what, what did you think about doing cinemas, clubs when you come I said, No, nah, I never thought about nothing. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> But yeah. he said, what? Well, you got to think. Well, I said, no, nah, it never passed. You just want a normal, you want a normal life. It's a normal Jesus, life, bro. Jesus. It's because you don't, you haven't experienced it. Was, that's it. what kept him saying. And you can't experience it. You can't it. have an opinion or yeah. think about it. You know, if you open a door and you go, what's this? Yeah. You know, you know, what, what is it? And then you have to do and it a few times well. before you have yeah. it. You see, in, in, my, in myself, yeah. I used to always be in the dark. I always cut the, the curtains. I said, cover it. So I didn't want no light coming from my yeah. window. I said, I didn't even want to know that there was light out there. Wow. Brilliant. That's how I do it, but do you know that? Yeah, no sun you. coming in, nothing. Well, it's always covered. What was yes. the quintessential thing? He's giving you know what I'm saying? Give all the time. Yeah. You can I just don't want to see. Yeah. Yeah. I don't want to know about it. Like, there's outside world. I don't even know. So enough, it's daytime, light time. I just keep it dark. Yeah. The screws take it down when they come in the room. I'll tell my mum. Yeah, your, keep it dark. What was your quintessential thing that made Do you that the beacon of light that kept you going? Uh, in prison, the beacon of light that kept me going, uh, when I was in my normal cell, just being comfortable, being able to communicate people from my cell, whether it's at the window or through the pipes, and then... We used to talk through the toilet. Yeah, 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 yeah it's yeah, just, yeah, 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 get the toilet brush and go like that by six like. times. All the water comes out the toilet because you're syringing it out. Yeah. And then he's obviously downstairs. Yeah, and we can lie lie yeah so I can lie on my bed and talk pipe. to him. So you were directly underneath him? Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah, 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 yeah. yeah, yeah. yeah, yeah. For over, for over, for over two years, for over two years. But then the question that uh, Jermaine asked me was, like I said, within my cell, the little good bits got me through. Emmerdale, Coronation Street, all that, Malaki. I still watch it today. But then if I'm in the <laughs> seg, <laughs> if I'm in the seg and I'm in the box, I feed off my pain. So I will just relay all the painful things that have happened to me and that will get me through me, the no. time of uh, lying on the bed with no toilet, no mattress, no sheets, I'm naked in there. Uh, you got an officer coming once every hour to open the flap, turn the light on and then turn it back off again. Mm. So what Quincy said about the darkness, I've opened this flap when I've been out and I'm up in the landing and it is pitch black. But it's yeah, black. yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> but I know my guy in that cell, he's cool. Mm. You get me? He's got everything in He's got his PlayStation, he's got his stereo, he's got all of his, all of his exclusive games, he's got his posters yeah, out. There's nothing wrong. Yeah. But it's trying to be in the dark. Yeah, 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 yeah. and that's I, what it was. I understand it as well, that's yeah. what it is. I yeah. actually understand it. Oh, summer as yeah. well. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah, 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 and that's how we started our day. Yeah, and for me, it, when mm. I got moved off the wing, I think, I think me and him uh, done something, I got moved off the wing. And for me, that, I, was, I was heartbroken. Yeah. Whenever I saw him, it was like, I had to enjoy the moment, whether it was an hour, whether it was 10 minutes, because them times there with Quint, yeah, was special to me. <laughs> and yeah, I still, I still remember all these things. These are the things that got me through. Mm-hmm. If that answers your question, brother. Okay. And yeah, yeah, yeah. Mine yeah. was uh, uh, the simple fact that um, I know I was loved, 
and to start with and then exercise because exercise you know releases good chemicals endorphins mm. such and such and then you're preparing for the future so it was like a battle i knew that no matter how much that door slammed every night boom the psychological warfare of it i knew that it had to open at some point to my exactly. advantage so i was patient that is <laughs> the only thing that's fact <clears throat> So therefore, there's nothing you could do about everything that's going on, but the one thing you know that's definite. So when you lie down in peace, you say, well, there's nothing really yeah, much yeah, I can do about yeah, that. Yeah. I'm not in control of that. So the positive mind. But then, the on the flip side, no, but then, no, no, but then, no, no, yeah. But then, yeah. Every day, lying on the bed, you know, bro. Every day, like No, but the flip side, yeah, me, yeah. The flip side is, that's such a good thing to have. But then if you're doing an L plate, then it's 99 years on your on your uh, EDR. So that opening the door for me personally when I was doing my life sentence, it didn't matter because when it closed, I knew it was going to close a million times again, you know? So yeah, yeah, yeah. But that but element the there, thinking that, thought thought it, it that way. Thought it would. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah, 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 yeah. Maniac, <laughs> maniac suggests, Maniac suggests, yeah. and rightly so, I believe, yeah. that when it's out of your control, the positive mind draws on mm-hmm. the fact. Yeah. What cards have you got on the table? Yeah, yeah, yeah. This yeah, is yeah. what strengthens yeah, your mind. This yeah, is mind. why yeah, you're yeah, here yeah. today. That's why Quincy yeah, yeah. Yeah. That's because we made sense of yeah. what you can do. Yeah. What ain't, it's impossible. Yeah, 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 what's realistic, yeah, 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 yeah. what's factual, what's yeah. fiction. Yeah. When you work it all out and you say, all right, but it has to open to Yeah, it has to open, yeah. So I'll have my go then. Yeah, exactly. You yeah. know what I mean? Yeah, 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 so yeah. you can't worry about things. The solution to keeping motivated yeah. and strong-minded yeah. Is accepting the situation you're yeah, in. Yeah, yeah, definitely, man. And realizing man. finding obstacles and little banging, steps for banging, 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 right banging, 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 to find yeah. out yeah, 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 what yeah. you can do yeah, 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 with yeah. the hand you have got. Yeah, 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 definitely. So just because that door was opening, I yeah. as soon as that door opens, I don't care what you're all saying. Yeah. I'm going straight up there. Yeah. Let me come back down. Shut up, man. Yeah. Don't call my name. You know, your mission is what it is. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So the lifers, if they yeah. got my mentality, yeah. which some I have, you know, we're gonna yeah. beat fire with fire all yeah. the time in yeah. that system. Yeah. You know, they're gonna have their go like they did with you, like yeah. they did with Bronson, like yeah. they did with all the, the all the brave ones, yeah. and the strong yeah, ones, the yeah, ones yeah. that Wanted fought back, the ones that fought back, not by way of physically, but yeah. mentally as well. Yeah, 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 but yeah. in the end, yeah. exactly what Maniac talks about yeah. here today yeah. is that that's the reason why we can sit around yeah, the table and do what we're doing. Yeah. Made sense oh, out yeah, of the yeah. nonsense. Yeah, nonsense. That's what it is. But many don't. And Quincy rightly says, you lie in that bed. We're thinking, you know, sometimes it's a nice spin that's yeah, that yeah, place yeah. where yeah. you're thinking, yeah, yeah, I know. You know, we are arching. Yeah, yeah, you yeah, know, because you're yeah, telling yeah, yourself yeah. the truth, the truth yeah. about everything. Yeah, that's yeah, yeah. Self-reflection and self-reflection. Yeah, yeah. In but, the end, it leads you to yeah, the yeah, start. Yeah, so yeah, 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 definitely, yeah. perspective, like Maniac says, yeah. much more calmer than yeah, yeah. me. Yeah. Read, does his stuff, pass the time, yeah, do yeah, that yeah, way, yeah, study and without going over things just yeah, yeah, about this yeah, that yeah, way yeah, yeah. there's no such answer yeah, yeah, to make things yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. so it's basically exercise the first one was I was loved by the universe oh, yeah. that's the first thing wow. yeah. yeah loved by the universe and then you know that you know that everything around you and then obviously on remand I had a book of David Icke under my arm we won't get into that but it helped change the perspective of you know either poor me because I read a book called Stuart Wilde yeah and I never did pour me a day in there I was in the cell and I looked at the windows I goes are we brilliant. doing this or not brilliant. I, I just got on brilliant, brilliant. never looked back brilliant yeah? no, that was about self pity that book yeah, no. yeah it was about self pity it's powerful yeah, 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 yeah. Yeah? and that's a very keen poem yeah. yeah well yeah I think what you said there about self pity is deep but then look look at all the prison films that are uh, in the, uh, from America in this country yeah if you look at all of our experiences, we was in all cells, um, you yeah, know, all in one row, yeah. I think a lot of the time we'd all be doing the same thing at some time. We'd be coming out, we'd be cooking, we'd be going to the gym, yeah, we'd be educating ourselves and there would be like a brotherhood there, solidarity. And I think nowadays the portrayal of incarceration is made to look in so many distorted ways that it's either looks glamorous or it looks like hell and none of them things are true it's about what is inside first impressions can sometimes be wrong because you can't judge somebody by the first impression quincy said it before freedom of speech well because i got to criticize that person about something oh he's famous whatever yeah. i still got the right to my opinion yeah at the end of the day yeah. so everybody's got their different yeah, ways yeah, yeah. Of looking at exactly things. exactly so that's what i would say man that's what i would say 
It's no. a very complex thing you could look at as well. We could look at, we have nearly 85,000 people in prison and maybe we was the few people that were chosen not to be sheep in this world. Yeah. And to have, find ourselves and to be free, mentally, spiritually, emotionally and financially, that if you was on the side of truth and compassion and the universe in such a place that has such, you know, lack of energy because, I mean, yeah. fear raises a frequency. Yeah. Even when 9-11 happened, the frequency of the universe was measured and they want to bring a state about where you're in a total state of fear. So it's about if you can control control of these things and have such a balance then you can bring you know light to this world and that is what light is is having no fear yeah, yeah, yeah. and having an alkaline diet yeah. and having the electricity of your, your being because you're a biomechanical human being with a molecular structure of an alkaline thing that cannot get sick yeah. you know what I mean mentally or physically yeah. so this is the power of getting into this and yeah, to, to yeah, meditate yeah. and to, to love the human body yeah. you know what I mean to understand what it is and yeah, to love yeah, yeah. ourselves and then yeah, yeah. we're able to then do what we're doing now and sitting here and you know this is probably going to save people's life just watching yeah, yeah, definitely, yeah. definitely. Around the world. Yeah. Understand? Because you give them an answer and give definitely. them hope, yeah, which is yeah. the quintessential of everything. Definitely, See, man. So, so the experiences that we are talking about <laughs> are step by step <laughs> how we made a bad situation better through the trauma for those struggling on the outside who can't do it the way that we did it, maniac. Yeah. We're giving them pointers about the way to think when you're stuck in a dungeon of some kind, of some kind of uh, pain where you can't find a way out of, you know, we're letting them know that there is a solution. Yeah. What's messed up though? I was thinking before, isn't it? What's messed up is, you see the place where we got to, to be able to think where we are, to be the people we are now, yeah? It was bad thinking. Do you realize that? Do you realize that? Was? That's powerful. Yeah. Hmm. Yeah, yeah. That's powerful. Yeah, keep going, the, keep going. The place where we got to, yeah. to be able to think the way we do now, yeah, all from, in the enlightened era, yeah. was from a bad way of thinking. Yeah, yeah. 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 yeah that's I so that's deep, man. I never even thought about it. I never even thought about it. Now stop. that he said it, you know that? No, now that he said that, yeah, he just hit me. He hit me. He's hit me. I never thought about that. Yeah. 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 No, no, because usually yeah, they tell you, oh, yeah, you got to go and do this course and think this certain way to get to. Yeah, but we've had to think the exact opposite way we need to think to get to the place where we need to, to be able to think where we are now. Yeah. That's oh, mad. Shit, it's mad. Man. That's yeah. some reverse studying. Yeah. 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 You, know, you know what I'm saying? For every That's moment, some reverse studying. For every moment that we lived wrong, Q, we lived wrong, we now know that there is another way yeah, no, but I'm saying thinking the, good the would not have got me here where I am now. No, because you had to search through the rubble to find what, you was, in? what was right. You had to search through all the dust. Because someone who around. thinks good would not have made it to where I got to mm-hmm. after going through what I went through. Yeah. Mm-hmm. Well, I think we No, I don't think so. Think, yeah, yeah, I think, yeah. Through thinking bad for so long, it made man so hardened, yeah. man was able to deal with the hell that comes with yeah. the end result yeah, of that yeah, lifestyle. Yeah. Shit, man, fucking hell. Do you get what I'm saying? Yeah. Yeah. That's deep, that's you have so the, deep. You have, you Do you understand what I'm saying, man? It's yeah. powerful because you have the whole, you have the lower self that could think's bad and you have the higher self, which is our light. So this is what we have, the wisdom of the lower self and the wisdom of our higher selves now. Mm-hmm. So now we can never be fooled by ourselves or by anybody else. Yeah, and this right. is what the wisdom that we're trying to convey to people yeah, yeah, who yeah. are watching the viewers that your lower self will yeah, yeah. think bad and get yourself in trouble and you'll be sick and die. But the higher self that's alkaline and thinks will then be able to save your soul. Yeah. yeah. And then you yeah, can yeah. be happy. Like I wake up happy every day, yeah. no matter what we've been through. For grateful yeah, 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 for for time, yeah. for life, for the moment, yeah. for the sunshine, for this moment around sitting all and the people watching around the world. It's beautiful. Yeah, Understand? Yeah, because no, it, I'm it, saying, yeah. Yeah. Yeah, so I'm I'm saying, saying you're yeah. so sick. You see, you see when you um, see when, you, when they tell you to study a, a certain topic. Yeah. When they tell you to study a certain topic, then they tell you once you master this way of thinking, that means you master this topic, and then you can become this. Yeah. 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 But we have mastered. No, had to think bad. bad for us to get to this space for us to think how we want to. One hundred percent. Do you get what I'm saying? So I'm saying it's like reverse. It's like reverse thinking because we know the way they train you. If you yeah. if you follow this process, yeah. then you get this result. Yeah. But no one's gonna want to follow the process that we went on. One hundred percent. Do you get what I'm saying? It's not even an option. No. no, no, it's not. Because it's not, it's not laid it out. It takes a long way round yeah. to come to Yeah, yeah, they, need to, they to need to make adverts on not to do what man done. Yeah, 100%. Yes. Do you get what I'm saying? Yeah. yeah, but they can't. Like, my thing is also, it's also evolution, spiritual evolution, that we've also been going through for ages, yeah? 
and there's only a few people that can help um, the world's spiritual evolution to evolve. And they have, they're very, I'm not even, when I say they're, I, you know what I'm talking about, yeah, I don't want to go too shit. But, um, and there is, there, there is also us. You know what I'm saying? Because we are the intelligent ones as well, and they know that. But the whole thing is that they fully aware of who you are more than everyone else is. You understand? Like, they know you don't understand. Yeah, 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 yeah. Like, they're fully aware of exactly who you are. Not. But for anyone else, is like everyone else is just like, oh, convicts or boom, 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 boom. Yeah. Oh, they just got out of jail, they made it out, made it through jail. Yeah. You yeah, um, see that the people that the right, the, the people that are either spiritual or the people yeah, that they know already. They know exactly yeah, they know. the way they look at you is totally different to yeah. how the average person yeah. would look at you. But they they're looking at you that. Like they know what they put you through. The yeah. problem is, is with, yeah. with all the scientific experiments on this planet that you do on humans, is that they're doing it from a place of fear and trying to understand. Exactly. You're always going to go wrong because now, uh, in the film Deadpool, you put in the human being under a stress. You're stressing the cells and the mind, so it either evolves or it folds. Yeah, this is where we're sitting around the table because we evolved evolve, in that situation. Evolve. Yeah, exactly. you know, whether it's with, through the reading, through the learning, through the yeah. meditation, yeah. through the spiritual, we evolved to get beyond whatever power they was ever hoping to have over yeah. you. They've lost it now. That's so, so, even when you think of the, uh, the concept of prison, yeah, you might, there's some, some some of the things that must have been implemented in the makings of it. Mm. It might not all be for be what we think it is, mm. because I feel like it's is there. It's almost like their 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 dome for social experiments, mm. yeah. because they put prisoners through so much. Yeah, and then that like, say to you when even when they, they add, they might even add a treatment that they've never used before. Yeah. So it's like they're adding, you know, like they, they it's, a, yeah. it's always yeah. an adding. It's, yeah. a, it's always an adding because they put stuff in back in the felt and they used to put the stuff in the tea you know, to control the testosterone. So, it's all of this stuff so then you've got then you've got what you understand is you see if I touch this wall now, yeah. my atoms then bond with the wall, so that yeah. it's forever in that wall. So they understand about walls capturing pain and yeah. and, and suffering. Yeah. So I was in a prison in Dartmoor on Isle of Wight. So it's prisons over two hundred years old that capture that that hate and that and that energy. So mm. they're hoping then it obviously passes into you so you're surrounded by mm. such a sarcophagus of of suffering that you have to fold it's yeah. about all of you folding yeah. they don't want any of you to win the beauty <laughs> yeah. about this is that so we're testimony to look evil in its eyes and say you failed yeah. on behalf yeah. of the universe yeah. i'd like yeah. to let you know you yeah. failed yeah. you understand yeah. because they go to places like in there's a country in called dominica where the, the oldest woman lives about 135 and roti goes to see her yeah. and the problem is is you can go to see her but if you've been collecting such negative energy all your life you're not going to live as long as her because she's only using positive of energy that's yeah. why if you look at any royal family the, the yeah. highest you'll get is 106 103 yeah. 99 yeah. 87 because you're doing you're doing it from a, a place of as, whether you preserve yourself and you sip gold and you you meditate and you they stretch your legs and you go in the cryo chamber you can do that all you want you're trying to rule human beings and if you ever try to hold water in your hand it doesn't do it because it's not for you to control yeah, yeah, it was yeah. never yours yeah, yeah, so you, yeah. you've made a flawed game I think most of like the people that want to experience or trials on people as well, especially people prisoners and uh, hospital patients as well, the community, they don't want you to get to a certain height. They don't want you to get to a certain enlightenment of understanding. And if you do get to that height, that's when they'll show interest in you. Yeah. That's when they'll want you to join them. Yeah. Basically, because they're seeing that you're gonna you're getting to a point where you're gonna go above them. So. If they can't beat you, then obviously they're gonna join you. So I just think, look, everybody here, for me personally, I can only talk for myself, is selfless. You know, mm. look how many series he's brought out of real life. They man them from every area that have come and that have joined in and done something so beautiful, so positive. Yeah. So from one act of a, of somebody waking up at five in the morning, filming, writing scripts and all the rest of it, till right now, look, man brought me here to do this today. Like, this is an opportunity that no one else is giving to me. No one else has, but this man has. Yeah. You have, you have, just yeah. everybody has. So I would just say that people will always fear what they don't understand. Yeah. And that is so powerful because it can be misconstrued in so many ways. Somebody want to kill you because they don't understand yeah. where you're coming from. You might look at somebody and look away. Rah, 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 rah. All you did was politely look away. Yeah. You didn't want to have conflict, but for that person, they want to do you over yeah. just for that. And because of you, maybe what your name is, you have me done over 30 years in prison. Yeah, I've got that scalp. I dealt with him. That's why Charles Bronson won't go a normal location because a little youngster, 16 yeah. or whatever in Woodhill on Roman, snaps, snaps, snap, breaks him up. Rah, it's in the paper, front pages. So there's so many different elements True. to life. And 
like I say, we'd only understand it when we get to like these hundreds and hundreds and tens. We lived it that long, and giving that knowledge back to our kids. And you know, King Solomon, who they say was a wise man, a king, like weed was found on his grave, as they say. And he was very, very intelligent, and he could communicate with so many different uh, creatures on this earth and that. And I just think that if people want to judge anybody on anything, judge them by their good things that they've done. Don't judge them by their bad because you've probably done even worse. And mm. that's it. Judge who you're meeting at the moment. As yeah, well. yeah, I feel yeah. Like you have to take in people at the moment that you're meeting them as well. Yeah. I feel like all the story it's hard to judge people on, on years before. Yeah. Whether, whether someone's telling you how good they were 10 years ago as well, not even just the bad side. Mm. Some say, oh, yeah, I'm, I'm 10 years ago, he's a great guy. Mm. And you're, you're meeting them back after 10 years. You can't assume that person is still. Yeah, the same. Not the same. <laughs> look at him, he's drowsy. Look, he's fully, look, you're drowsy now, you're drowsy. Turn into Yami. The, the, beauty, the, yummy. the beauty about all of this is that the human spirit is on a journey. That's and right. the winner in all of this is DNA because it's been here for millions of years <laughs> evolving. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah, so that is the winner. Whether yeah. we're ruled by the Egyptians, exactly. whether we're ruled by the British monarchy, it doesn't yeah. really matter. Yeah. It's a journey for you to have a consciousness to exist, yeah. to then to find out what you can do within that consciousness yeah. within yeah. time. Yeah. Yeah. Whether over time, whether spirits or souls overlap or we're soul groups, yeah. it's irrelevant. We're experiencing consciousness in the universe in a duality. That's we're right. born twice. Yeah. So this is what we're doing here now. Yeah. And we're being beautiful and we're showing what the yeah. human spirit of yeah. endeavour is in the time of Egyptians or the time of now yeah. people have not had the fortunate of yeah. social media and such and such so whether we get back to doing telepathy whether we get back to building pyramids yeah, yeah. whether one child is born in a thousand years and learns to do that yeah. there will be time where you live a thousand years yeah. two thousand years build pyramids it's an evolution of time we live for eternity yeah. so there is no rush for anything in eternity no, there, is there is no wrong and there is no right because we're here for eternity yeah yeah yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. smashed it man smashed it now this one's a big one this, this podcast is different so I haven't yeah, experienced this, this sort yeah. of thing before, man. Yeah. From the, uh, if we're talking uh, collective uh, experiences, because we're sitting in, with the four of you, with that, yeah. that's gone for the experiences. Yeah. What would you say um, that? What would you say could um, help anyone in that's either in jail right now? Because people in jail are gonna see this podcast. Mm. Yeah, um, people that's that's dealing with certain uh, PTSD issues and people that are, are around it because it affects families that of people that's going through these situations. What would you say to the people to, to make them understand um, one of some of the, the things that got you through and so they can kind of re like, you know, like rest their head easy to know that there's, there's different ways of thinking? Because I think from an outside perspective, you only look at it one way, if, I'm, if, you, if you understand. I'm not yeah. saying one way, but it's just always, it has a negative, um, outlook to it but then to me when I sit with people like yourselves and many of like I see how much positives come from it and there's people that I've known that's been on that that never went to jail that haven't evolved as much as you all yeah. four of you have yeah come so, out yeah. surround yourself with love getting spirit on a, on a smartphone build your credit get yourself a good woman as a job mm -hmm. and then helps you get a credit card get a BT or something in someone's name in their house to build your credit yeah. learn to vote you understand do exercise be around good people yeah. try and get a part-time job sign on, try and get a house, then build, save your money, invest it. There's numerous amounts of investments. Yeah. Get your finance, get a car, build, build wealth, take your time, yeah. be a good person, meditate, train, drink water, alkaline, stay healthy and try and do good. Change your energy, change your thinking, change your environment, change the people around you, change the area. Yeah, yeah because if you go back to the same area, you're gonna go back to the same thinking the That's same right. way. That's so right. change the area. If you're gonna go back to that girl you've been writing or she didn't answer the phone, yeah. Yeah, it's not gonna go, it's not gonna end well. Yeah. So it's about changing a whole narrative, a whole reality, a whole thinking, a whole dress code, Reset realizing the whole, yeah. the people that left you behind, do not go back to them because there's no need because mm -hmm. they've already shown you who they are yes. in your darkest hour. So continue to then yeah. do all of those things and open up a new reality and pathway and an energy. And otherwise that way, then you can't say you have bad luck because yeah. you've gone to the same thing. Yeah. So, so that's how people get into a spell of a delusion yeah. that there's, these things are the same and they've got bad luck and everyone's evil. Yeah. And, yeah. Yeah, because they've done that. This is a spell. This, so I'm giving yeah. them the formula to break this. Yeah. Yeah. So I'm giving the formula to break that. So yeah. the whole world can hear it now. Just put it into it. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Install a new system. And yeah. that's it. Yeah, yeah. And that's new it. way of thinking, yeah. man. And it's a new way of thinking. Yeah. And then that way you break the spell. You understand? Yeah, and that's yeah, it. Yeah. Yeah. All right, cool, cool. Well, listen, I just wanted to say one last thing. I'd like to big up the man them yeah, for yeah. putting this on for us today. Yami, uh, it's a pleasure to be here. It's an honor to be in your presence today. Mm -hmm. I love you, bro. Uncle yeah, Yami for life. Oh, Quint, 
Come on, man. I've said it all already. <laughs> but I'll say it again, bro, man. You are the epitome of somebody that has reformed himself, somebody that has turned the tables, and somebody that is going to keep going higher and higher and higher. And I'll be there with you every step of the way, brother. Thanks, and Maniac, bro. Jermaine, like I said, brother, mm -hmm. I'll be talk every morning now. Uh, I wake up for the moments now, bro. And yeah, when we get in the gym, we just work out with this boxing thing. I show you the, the Floyd Mary of the speed. Mm -hmm. And I look forward <laughs> to seeing this online, seeing the positive comments, you know, on Insta, Twitter, your Facebook, and everybody, this more success for everybody, innit? You know? What would you say, Ovi? Like, what would you, what would your advice be to anyone going through um, half of the situation that you? Uh, uh, I would just say, look. First of all, listen to the people around you that are positive. Mm. That's the main thing. Don't forget your mum. No, no matter how hard things get with your mum or your father, always try and go back. Always be the bigger person. Don't mm. go to bed angry and wake up angry. Like Jermaine said, spirituality or religion, believe in something that's bigger than you. Mm. You know, there's nothing on earth that can give you a longer life or a big house or whatever. These things are earned, innit? Or obtained through positive things. And I would say that prison is a place where you will just waste your life, innit? You're just, a, you're just an entity in there. Yeah. Like Jermaine said, your DNA. Uh, and don't go to Broadmoor or any of them other hospitals because there you, you're, you'll, be, you'll be a dummy. You'll be jabbed up all over your body. Yeah, and you'll never be the same again. Uh, and I would just say, when you, if someone is out now, just cherish every day, man. When you go out in the morning, you don't have to drive or jump on a bus or whatever every day. Just take a walk sometimes mm. and just feel the energy of the earth. Mm. You know, the oxygen from the trees, the grass and the plants and that. Mm. And when you go back home, nice shower, cook yourself a meal for you and your lady, she's coming around. Mm -hmm. And always look after your own environment mm -hmm. because that's where you, that's where you lay your head. So if you're not comfortable in your own house, you're not going to be comfortable anywhere. That's right. And that's what I would say. Mm -hmm. So yeah, man, thanks everybody, oh, man. Amazing. Hey, flat top. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Come on, man. Come yeah. on, yeah. He's all on right. fire today. Give us, give us some knowledge. All I, can, for the... all I can suggest is for what I'm going through and the state of mind and the feeling because it's been a deep session today for me. Yeah, yeah. It's just take one day at a time. Big. Don't be hard on yourself. That's amazing. Uh, for every minute you're going to feel sad. There's always going to be an hour later where you're going to feel happy. Yes. Yeah. So I might feel a bit down now, but I know any minute now yeah. I'll be jumping with joy again. Yeah, so, yeah, yeah, yeah. so you just got to hold on to those human things that we will have. Yeah. That's all. No, don't don't make, make your wicked, situation wicked. worse yeah. than yeah. what it is, yeah. Yeah. which I had a terrible habit of doing. Yeah, 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 yeah. There was nothing wrong. I <laughs> <as laughs> intended to just, you know, die yeah. overboard. But Drama then, queen. Drama. <laughs> 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 old thoughts, old feelings, yeah. old behaviours that got no significance for my day. Stay positive and stay grateful. Yeah. You're gonna yeah. 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 Stay positive, stay grateful. Yeah, it's cute. And I'd like to thank you, Jay, and the great Mackie. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. And it's been beautiful, episode. it's been beautiful. Another yeah, 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 yeah. And another episode of the A Factor comes to a close. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. Thank you, man. Next one coming up very shortly. Nice one, this one.